Daddy's back, you bitches! Hello, uh, Daddy's Talk back, you me, bitches! Hello, uh, Dave, oh, come on. Nero, come on. Come on. Nico, what are you doing? Dave is not coming. Ah, ignore him. Come on, we gotta get this thing ready before we talk. Let's go. Here, pass me that. You ever been? No. Crazy place, Nico. <laughs> what you going to do? I might come back on board, or I might try to make a go of it. Like they say, it is the land of opportunity. I always wanted to make it big, on a nice place, get a dog, a house. Live the dream! Like my cousin. Oh, yeah? Yes, he's got the love. House, women, cars, parties. Uh, he writes me in these wild emails. And after I got into trouble, I thought maybe... Uh, then I got this gig and I spent the next seven months with you fine people and I forget. <laughs> After the war finished, I couldn't get a job. Nobody could. Uh, so I uh, did some dumb things, got involved with some idiots. Ah, we all do dumb things. That's what makes us human. Could be. Forget our language? Uh, Kapusi? Oh, Maybe a little. I've been here ten years. You could speak English. Remember, we learned off the English girls with the big... Uh, a little. <laughs> I'm not uh, so good. It'll be fine. Better than my Serbian. Ah! So good to see you, cousin. <laughs> I can't believe you made it. <laughs> Shit. I have to tell you. I had quite a night last night. Two women. The land of opportunity. Ah! I've made it! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shit, man, I'm still a touch drunk. A touch? <laughs> <laughs> My cousin is here! Oh, Back Rome, up to Rome, Rome. Rome. Come on, come on, right, relax. Yeah, whatever, buddy. Just take over the world someplace else, yeah, all right? Buddy. You're in the hey, goddamn go world! Screw you! Screw you <laughs> all! On, My man. cousin is here! Nico Bellic! He's the Fucking man, uh, bitches! Roman, come on, let's go. Uh, to the mansion, huh? Yes, the mansion! <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should drive. Oh, maybe I should. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, is this a cab? Where's the sports car? Uh, it's in the shop. Come on! <laughs> Drive us to that place on Mohawk. He's just up the road. I'll let you know when we're there. Why don't you show me around the city? Fucking terrorists! What? Terrorists! There's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. We are passing the cab office, Nico. This is the business that will take us to the top of the pile! 
You with a divisa. I would stay in broker. Fuck it, stay in Hove Beach. Everyone like us does. Nico, you ever had two women at once? Four big titties to be playing with? Mr. Samda, che umrati? Io tici your right, Chovice. This is the mansion? <laughs> Just a temporary place. The mansion is coming, cousin. That's the dream. Follow me. <laughs> come in, come in! Make yourself at home. What's mine is yours. Got him! <laughs> Little bastard. If he paid some rent, I wouldn't care. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> oh, cousin, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Ah, oh. oh, shit. Oh, I need to change anyway. <laughs> so. 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 So, you full of crap or what? What? Uh, where's luxury condo? Where's sports car? Where's Barbara with big titties and Stephanie who sucks like a vacuum? What are you talking about? In your letters to my mother. In your letters to me. All I hear about is Mr. Big, Mr. Roman, living the American dream. Sports cars, condos, women, money, the beach. Opportunity. I come here and the only thing big about your life is the cockroaches. <laughs> That's right. I got the best cockroaches, I got the best pet. <laughs> Screw you, you idiot. <laughs> okay, I am an idiot, but you must admit, I have the best line in bullshit you ever heard. Yeah, this I know, asshole. But here. <sighs> All I needed was one good guy. One good guy I could do well. Not take over the world, but do okay. Now maybe I have this. But what about you? What about you, cousin? What? What about me? Oh... Uh, why you live home after all this time? First I hear you are running with the wrong kind, then I hear you join the Merchant Navy, now you're here! You never tell me anything! <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? No, I never tell you anything. Another time. Ooh, mystery man, strange and exotic sailor. What happened? Did your captain make you pregnant? <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. The ships were fine. It was before that. Two things. You remember, during the war, we did some bad things. And bad things happened to us. <laughs> war is where the young and stupid are tricked by the old and bitter into killing each other. I was very young and very angry. Maybe that is no excuse. Roman? Roman! Ah! Are you sleeping, you fat no, fuck? No Come on! Mm, what's the time? Shit, I've got to get the cab back. It's on the shift. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jesus! This like a rat shot in it! Nico, Jeez. I've got to run. Uh, come well, meet me at the cab office. It's easy. Out about? the door, turn left, then the first I left don't... at the diner, go down I'm one losing... block and turn right on Iroquois. Then walk all the way down and we're right there on the left on the corner of Cisco about, Street. Man. It's really flash. We got lots of TDs and some incredible molders. Uh, Nico, give me a hug. Good to have you here, cousin. I've got something for you. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, yes, Vlad. Uh, sorry. But forgive me, okay? No, no, please don't cut my cock off. Eh? Okay, okay but yes. Uh, uh, okay.
Take a bite of my hot chihuahua meat. Come on, big guy, either do some work or get out of here. We don't need jokers. Screw you! Screw you! Baby, when I look into your eyes, it means something. I see little Romans, I see little Mallories, I see stars, I see angels. In my homeland, we have a saying. Yeah, we got one too. You're a fag! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Roman, you fucking idiota! How can I take you seriously? Very difficult, I think. <laughs> Hello, Roman. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Mallory, this is my cousin I tell you about, Nico. Hi. Nico, this is Mallory, the beautiful girl I tell you about. See? Not everything I tell you is bullshit. I bet most of it was. <laughs> hey. I hope you're less full of shit than your cousin over here. <laughs> Thank you. This is the woman that I'm going to marry. <laughs> Whatever you say. I thought you were going to marry me, <laughs> baby. Hey! Hey, Vlad, great. You're fucking crazy, man. You should lose a few pounds. Otherwise, this beautiful lady is going to lose. <laughs> no, I'm a fat prick. What can I do? Pay you uh, debts? I will, I will do, man. We spoke of this. No, we didn't speak. You spoke. Then you say your phone out of batteries. You treat me like a bitch. Never. I treat you like an idiot, not a bitch, huh? <laughs> I guess it's true. The beautiful woman do like the guys with a funny sense of mm -hmm. humor. Ho <laughs> ho! I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll get you the money. I know. And Roman, tell this fucking yokel here if he doesn't stop staring at me, I'll have his head chopped off and put a film of it on the internet! Ouch. Ah. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Look, say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. Yes, he's all charm. Come on, Nico, let's go. Uh, darling, I, I, I'll see you later. I've got to take my cousin around some more. Get him settled. Nico, you're driving us to a hardware store on Dillon Street. Doing some home improvements, Roman. You're going to build this mansion you tell me about? <laughs> oh, funny guy. We're going to get money. In America, you need money to do anything. You're taking me to a backroom game where I'll win all the dollars we need to really see this town. Nightclubs, women, titties! You can play, right? TC Dobar, Uovo Igri? I am the best. I kick all the asses that play me. They call me the janitor. Because you can't pay your debts and they make you mop the floor? Never, Ovlad, no. Funny. No, I'm the janitor because I always clean up. I always win. Get it? Chistach, Naravno. I seriously hope your cards are better than your nicknames. Only problem is I'm playing with some money I meant to give to these Albanian scumbags. Nico, wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. Shit, uh, I almost forgot. I'm giving you my old phone. My new number's in there. Call me if some Albanians show up in some shitty page Willard. Those are the guys I owe money to. Do, do not hurt them. I know what you're like, Nico Bellic. You and your debts, Roman. Uve kisto, Nika drugacije.
It's so quiet out here, Roman. You winning? Molinte Retsida. Don't worry, I'm getting so many bullets, it's like I'm an AK. Miss McCool. Roman, it looks like your money lending friends are here. I think that Bellic is in the store. We'll get our money. Cousin, two guys are going in the store. I think they are the loan sharks you speak of. Shit, I'm down. You better get out of there. All right, all right, I'm coming. Shit, Nico, what's them? They must have been told I was here. You're in much trouble, Bellic. Remember, do not hurt the loan sharks. The debt will just increase. Get us back to the depot, quick! Do you think they saw me? Of course they saw you. I mean... You're a distinctive man, Roman. That is why the ladies love me. Fuck those Shylocks, they'll get their money. They just have to wait. We should stand up to them. Gidetti e bonus. Nico, you're new. You don't understand the way things work. Oh, yeah? We are at the bottom of the ladder, man. These thugs push us around, but they are not to be feared. It is the Russian mobsters, Vlad's bosses that run everything. Be careful of them. You tell me to behave, Mr. Janitor? If you understand it all, where is the money? I lost it this time, but when I go back, the last thing they will expect is for me to take everything. We're here. Oh, you like your phone? Maybe one day you get a premium quality one like mine. Then you will have really made it. I can only wish. See you later, cousin. Come on, Daddy, what's your problem? I don't have problem. You do. Don't be a dick, man. Come on! Where's your Russian friend now, huh? Eh? He's not my friend. He's eh? my lawn shark. Eh? Stop this! Eh? What are you? Who are you? Get out of here. Nico. What? Yes. Huh? What? Ah! 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 My arm! Oh! And what about you? Help me! Help me! Oh, Come on, Supak! Leather! Help me! Get out of here now! Oh. And if you come back, I'll kill you! You understand? Oh. You forgot this? You Benin pricks! Strong! Shit, Nico. What did you do? He was going to stab me! Now he's going to kill you! Fuck him! Look at this mess! Screwed! Again! You want to know why I'm not <sighs> living in a nice condo, banging for women? It's because of shit like this! Assholes, threaten Shut me! Shut up! Oh, great. Mallory. Hey, beautiful! <laughs> uh, yeah, great! <laughs> uh, listen, I I'm having a bit of a problem at the office. Um, I can't do it. Nico can do it. Huh? Um, what? Well, why would you want me then? Well, screw you then! Great girl. Can you do me a favor? Mallory uh, needs a lift. Uh, can you go pick her up at the Hove Beach subway station? Yeah. Take the cab. She's got a friend with her. Maybe someone you can date. Fuck you. Oh, man, look at this crap. My computer and everything.
Get in, ladies. Hey, Nico, thanks for coming. I should have known Roman would find some excuse not to turn up. This is Michelle. Hi, how are you? I live on Rotterdam Hill up on Mohawk Avenue. You know where that is? How are you finding America, Nico? Not exactly what I expected. Nico, you know what? You need someone to show you a good time. Michelle, how about you? Mallory, stop it! Come on, you guys. You're both single. You're adults. Take a number, Nico. Hey, I'd like to see you again, Nico. You look like that kind of guy I want to get to know. You look like you just jumped off the boat, Nico. Handsome man like you should get some new threats. I think he looks fine the way he is. I don't think he even chains out of those things on the journey. How you gonna impress a classy girl like Michelle? I'm easily impressed. I know you are, sweetie. <laughs> and I just... Thanks for the lift, Nico. Yeah, thanks. Give me a call sometime. See you soon, Michelle. Cousin, I dropped the girls off. The friend gave me her number, but I don't think Mallory likes my clothes so much. I know just the place for you. It's on Mohawk in Hull. Go and get something a bit more 21st century. Mmm, your wife will like this. Make you look very strong. Ah, good, good. Come again, if you want, of course. Hey, Roman, I got some clothes. It looks like they brought the stuff in from the old country, though. We must take what we get. When the big money rolls in, then we will look real classy. Anyway, you have Michelle, classy girl for your arm. You should definitely keep dating her. Hey, Michelle, it's Nico, Roman's cousin. Oh, hi. How's it going? Good. Now, I was wondering if you uh, wanted to go out with me sometime. You know, on a date. Yeah, sure. That could be fun. Yeah, I'd like to get to know you, Nico. Uh, why don't you come over to my place whenever? See you soon.
Congratulations, Darden is a good friend of mine. It was a misunderstanding. Oh! Hey, <laughs> shit, there he is. Keep on fat boy here and I'll talk to him. Our problems with your cousin. I told you to stop. Now it's too late. to beat me down, fool! You are right, cousin. Yeah, fine. Fucking lawn sharks, man. If one more of these gangsters tries to... Speaking of shitheads, here's Darden. Come on, my car is over there. Let's get him. You drive. I don't feel so good. They think they can fuck me around and beat me up because there are more of them. Not any longer. Me and you, Nico. Me and you are going to show them fucking dirt and smashing my fucking stuff. Who does he think he is? Just some fucking petty Albanian hood. If I wanted to buy a stolen TV, I'd go to Darden. Who does he think he's fucking with? Balik Enterprises, that's who! We're going to the top, Nico. The top! For now, let's just try to survive, cousin. Darden is stopping. He's trying to get away on foot! You broke my arm already, man! and play with sharp objects, Darden. Darden ain't a problem for you no more, cousin. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. Men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian. Bulgarian. He live on the Adriatic. Believed I owed him money when I did not. It made my life impossible. There was no avoiding him. Did you deal with him like you did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. And to see your cousin, of course. Of course. We will have no more problems from now on, cousin. It is all plain sailing straight to the top for you and me. We will see if things are that simple. Thank you, cousin. I'll see you later.
Hey, it's Nico. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? All your stuff is new. Some even still have tags on. Yeah, well, I like things clean. I can see that. But uh, everything is new. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with cleanliness. Things get on my nerves and I just throw them out. OCD or something? Oh. So, where are you taking me? Uh, you look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh, fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo. <laughs> So, Nico, why couldn't you come on the date earlier? What happened? Roman got himself into some trouble. I had to help him out. Really? Does Roman get himself into a lot of trouble? Is he involved in criminal stuff? Roman? He has made some mistakes. Got involved with people he shouldn't have, but really, he is a legitimate businessman. What about you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. open this time of year. I, I don't know if it would pass safety regulations anyway. There's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk. Why don't we play a few frames? Cool. Let's go bowling then. Thanks for taking me out. I haven't been on a date for a while. I'm kind of lonely here. I thought you were doing me a favor by going out with me. You're the local. I'm not a local in Liberty City. I came here from somewhere... Where? Oh, uh, the Midwest. <laughs> you probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. Welcome to Memory Lanes. We have a lane open for you. I'll take you home. Let's go. So, you don't know many people here in Liberty City? No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess it's I'm World married to my job. I knew well, what do you do? What do you do? Come on, I asked first. I work with Mallory. What do you do, exactly? You're a hard girl to talk to, Michelle. I guess you're not used to talking to American women. I guess. So what are you doing here in Liberty City, Nico? What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Roman's bullshit stories, maybe. I just felt like I needed the new start. There's nothing else about Liberty City, then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. Oh, 
Come on, Hattie. Forget about the fat sir. Vlad's shots up. But he's a serf, and you're a countess. Uh, talking about serfs. Oh, hey, Nico. Where's Roman? <laughs> Good question. Hey, Yokel, your dumb cousin isn't here. Go get me a coffee. What? Get me a fucking coffee! Come on, I'll get you one. What? You keep staring at me. I'll burst one of your eyeballs. Gorgeous, this guy's a fucking creep. Give him a break. He's new in the country. I can see that. Did you walk here from 1985? Yeah. Excellent. Now stop fucking staring at me. I mean, I know I'm good looking and everything, but come on. Uh, hey, Mallory. Hey, man. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> About time. Vlad, bloody boy, what's going on? Roman, Roman boy, you tell me what's going on. Nice aftershave, what is that? Sex pest? No, <laughs> it's where is my fucking money? I, I had it, I, I had some of it. Then those Albanians you said you would deal with came and smashed my computer. <laughs> so it's my fault? I, I didn't say that. Good. Anyway, Nico dealt with him. He broke Darden's arm, then we up a couple more. Then we teach him a real lesson. <laughs> is that so? I tell you what, while you don't pay, Maybe you and Nico can do me few favors. Sure. <laughs> Good. Why not? Later, Vlad. What? The phone's ringing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I can't do it. My cousin will do it. Yes, he can drive. No, he's not a cop. His name is Nico. You'll be right over. Nico. Sorry to ask, cousin. Can you go pick up Jermaine, one of my regulars? He's over on Rotterdam Hill on Mohawk Avenue? Whatever. What was this all about? Nico came in looking for you, and Vlad told him to get him a fucking coffee, and Nico didn't want to. Coffee? What was he thinking? I know. Thanks for coming. Can you take me over to Masterson Street? Masterson Street it is, Jermaine. Shit, I thought Roman was gonna pick me up. I need someone I can trust for this run. I'm Roman's cousin. If you can trust him, you can trust me. Ah, uh, he told me about you. 
you're Nico, right? The hotshot ladies' man cruising around the Mediterranean, breaking hearts and making millions? Yeah, I traded in the yacht for this cab. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of bullshit I can imagine Roman making up. You got to give him credit for his imagination. Yeah, you got him. I had a feeling you sounded too good to be true. The question is, are you willing to get your hands dirty? That door isn't meant to be open. Wait here while I take a look. The cops are on to me! Get us out of here! I'm spinning out, man! Get these cops off our tails! Shit, man, you gotta lose these cops! where we are. Don't attract any unnecessary attention. They're gone. Thank you. Okay, we're here. Thanks, man. Keep looking after Roman, all right? I got your friend Jermaine where he wanted to go. Good, Nico. Thanks. I can talk. See you soon. Office. Can I take a message? Okay, great. No, I'm not gay. Yes. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell him. Car 7, head to South Slopes. Come on, where are you, Mohammed? Hello, Roman Belik's up. Shit, fucking battery. This is chaos. Capitalism is a dirty business. Yeah? Like war? Not exactly. No, maybe not. When are you going to tell me properly about what happened? I'm not going to judge you. Uh, when you got time. There, I have time. Another time. Can I help? Okay, yes. Go pick up my friend little Jacob. He's a good man. Likes to smoke a bit. Look after him. He's on Oned Avenue in South Slopes. Nico, man, we should talk sometime. Oh. I'm a good listener. Whatever, man. Mohammed, what the fuck are... Oh, Miss Weinstock. No, no, not you. I, I, what can I do for you today?
All right, brother, forward at Dillon Street in Shatla. Yo, Nako, the one man Roman been talking about all this time. Cousin Nako, gonna help Roman take over the world and thing. I guess so. Respect, all right, all right. We're going to the spot where I need you to wait for it. See? I gotta ask you another favor, too. Go for it. Can you take this piece? If you hear anything bad going down, you come and help, right? Are you worried about this? I know how to use a gun if you want me to keep watch on things. Realness, brother. You're my man Roman's cousin. Thanks, respect. These rascals that are rockers with my bridging real bad man the other day. I want to make peace, but John know what type of shit they might pull off. Alright, there be the spot up there. Watch out for any badness. Sure. What's this? I know there's only gonna be one of you coming. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. We have to teach a bad man his lesson and team. You Shit, Nico, get go. these blood shots. Rats! Someone be in the... Watch yourself, cup on the other one and the ground. Mr. Bush, so all for that! Catch your hunting! Oh. Sorry for Magadog, Magadog, turn around and bite you. Come here back at home, bro, cafe. Your real creation step on Eva. Oh. Righteous with that piece. I have had much experience. I think we can do some work together and thing in the future, you know? I am always looking for work, if it pays. Here's my number. Make a link up soon. Ah! Thanks for everything. You can keep the peace. I think you know if you use it better than I do. One love. Rasta, I don't need to talk. Make we do it. Rom, I took Jacob where he wanted to go. Driving for you ain't as boring as I thought it would be. Jacob is a good man. Watching close ride with Jacob would not be boring. Thank you, cousin. I'm sorry. You better start remembering the important people, you dumb peasant. Your cousin owes me a lot of money. If you don't want to make things real difficult for him, you are going to come to Kamrat Bar in Mohawk. I have a work for you.
Yes, please. One of them. Quality merchandise. Oh, thank you. Yo, Nico. Walk one. All right, you know, getting by. Yo, we need to help with something, you know? Will you come on my place at Dillon Street? Sure, I was looking to branch out a bit anyway. I'll see you soon. Ah, fuck you! You're a bunch of pussies and fags! Nice. I'm going back to the meeting! Good! I'm going to be somebody! Yeah, yeah. See you later, Mel. You always were an asshole, Mickey! Hey, watch where you're going! Hey! <laughs> Hey! I tried to tell you. Fuck to you. Excuse me. Позвони мне когда закончишь, хорошо? Sorry, when I see you later, okay? Yoko, fatty Roman's cousin. <laughs> What's your name again? Big mouth prick. Very catchy. Sit down, cousin. Uh, Nico. That's it, Nico. Not big mouth prick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and this one's. I'll let you take the shit out of me. Take the shit? Yes, Mickey about. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me get fucked with. Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months, and I'm not kind of person who is treated this way. Old bastard owns a china shop in the Campton Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bat to teach a lesson. Let me in. You have Vlad protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break out here. Vlad should pay me to tell punks like you to go away. He get no money. Shit brain. I pay up now. I pay up. Here's the money. I hope you and Vlad choke on it. Sure, whatever.
Hey, Yokel, you managed to do the job? Get Vlad his money? He paid up. I had to smash the shop up pretty good, but he paid. Don't worry your little peasant head about it. Stupid jerk made a mistake of telling me how much he gets that shit for back east. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. Stay out of my way! Nico, how you doing? This is so much fun. You know, Roman, I haven't been having that much fun since I got here. Has been a lot like hard work. Well, you should hang out with your cousin more often. Maybe that is the problem. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Brucey. Well, we're sitting here and calling the cops and watching them show up and look around. The fucking stupid bastard! You shouldn't cry wolf, Roman. Who knows when you really need help? Fuck! I think they see us. Have to call Nico. You don't know! Move it, jackass! Yo! What are you doing with best, uh? What are Uh, it's Nico. Last night, you know. The soul come, yo. That's what I. What? Oh, uh, uh, oh, Nico. Hey. Glad to see the man, you know. I'm to my man, Roman. Roman? Yeah. He's okay. Yeah. He's still waiting for his big break, eh? Big break? Sure. I promise I'll come for to a fool, you know, Nico. A boy for creep before him can walk, you know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go for a little drive. Come. Yo, I have a deal for me, you know. I can go down to Saratoga Avenue and Willis. The man taking this wheel. This herb don't do too well for my honor, my eye coordination. You sure you don't want some? I'm sure. You might not keep the windows closed. Keep the gun down in the car. Hot box, see? So what's the deal? I'm buying some Kali off a new sauce, you know? Don't know if it's all this herb, but... I made a paranoid, I don't, don't trust them. Who arranged this deal? Some harbor shots in the crew. Bad man know them a long time, but... I think them faced it. If this goes wrong... I don't know what kind of shit bad man going to lay upon them doing, you know? You think this is a setup? I don't know. I've been smoking hard, you know? <laughs> Fuck with my brain and a little. Let me think all type of shit. I dread don't trust yourself, can't trust no one else, see? You can't shake no hands when your fist be clinched. Go around the back in case one of them try to get jumpy and run off with the ganja. Keep hold of this vehicle, we might need to get out of here quick.
I got them. You're a real bad man, you know, Nico. Respect. Follow the Savannah Avenue in the Meadows Park. You're a bad boy, Nico. I don't know what I will be doing without you, you know. But I say I got to get the blood class to set I up. All right. Drive while I block up some more, you know, brother. The rascal, I think it can call a bad man. That fool. That dead fool. The boy has no match for I and I. Nothing. Are you with me, brother? Yes. I'm going to put some road boy in the ground. All right, brother, get behind me. All right, you ready? I'm going to set this place for fire to blood clot. I can't get the shot on the boy. Check the window. You see him up there? You see it? And I get them all. Don't make me broke out here. I think some more soon turn up. Your mother was right. You're pathetic. Ricky, I'll take me back at the cafe and think. Real bad man gonna be happy with this and think. Channel Thank you, my brother. Don't mention it. It was a pleasure. I look out for a bad man like how you look out for a man. He's my cousin. Blood be the thickest band there is, you know? Light is not always an easy thing in a star. Bad man tell me, say, yo, Jacob, kill him. Jacob, show that, etc., etc. It's always logical, but I and I follow. See? That idea? Of course, time a man for giving a school face. Orders are sometimes hard. You must be sure you agree before you follow. I have made that mistake myself a long time ago. For real, I know you're right, you know, brother. But Batman is my bra. I follow him wherever. We're there. Thanks for everything. Keep this little something and say, yo, we appreciate your assistance, see? We talk to you soon. See you later. I thought all I'd been doing since I got here was helping you out. You have, you have, but I need officials. I need more drivers for the cab company. I'll pay you properly. Okay, then. Just call me whenever you want to take a fare. You can do as many as you like, Nico. There are always more customers.
You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar is a crime, plain and simple. Well, you're joking, right? This is a joke. Yeah, you're playing hey, a joke on me. Mallory, I, I can assure tell you Fadig his cousin is okay. He just walked in. Great girl. Yeah? Stay away from her. Of course. Now listen. You did good with the business the other day. But now one more peasant is trying to avoid pain. Who? Moskovsky jerk who owns the laundry in the Masterson Street. Thinks in this country business is done differently. Says he will call cops on us. Okay. So? Jerk needs to be taught a lesson. Give him a beating. Let him know might is right. Hey! Stop that smoking back there! Bushel! Easy, Wait. buddy. Did you hear Go on. Do what you gotta do. But remember, you see a cop? You don't know me. I see anyone, I don't know you. Ho, ho. Hello. Vlad говорит. Да, да. Что ты хочешь? Быстрее. Я очень занят. I have a message from Vlad. Shit! Stay away from me! you owe him. I'm going to. I've just been having the trouble getting it together. Vlad is an impatient man. You will be getting the money to him soon, or your wife shall be using your washing machines to get the blood out of your clothes. Do you understand? I do not ask twice for a favor. I understand. I will get it to him. I thought this country was different. to the laundry metal. He gets the message. He will pay you now. I like your style. You can be an intimidating guy. It's a shame everybody knows what a stupid yopel you are when you open your mouth. Huh? Come back to the bar. the strippers. Another time, cousin. All right, Nico. Uh, maybe we do something when you have some free time.
So she sends me out. Запомни, если хочешь сделать деньги, приходи работать за меня. Where can I get? Oh, Yokel, there you are. Okay. Glad. Come on, let's go for a walk, okay? Right. Okay. Come on. I don't even like. That's a good. Where are we going? To my car. Why? Because of your cousin. What? Owe me a lot of money and until he pays me, you're fresh off the boat. Yeah, your ass me. is mine. What the fuck you mean, why? Hey, you are a pretty relaxed guy, huh, Vlad? Come on. Bonavincia, stara Vedmark. Come on, Yoko. What's wrong with you? You gonna jump me? No, I had a late night last night. Spent it with Mikhail. Great. Yeah, wild. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. That's so who the hell one. is Mikhail? Hey, Mikhail's a man. Shit. My nose is bleeding. Is my nose bleeding? No, not yet. Fuck this. Come on! Wait! I'm walking hey, here! Wait the fuck Let's go! Up. Damn city, always trying to run you down, huh? Hey man, get a Get a job, hey, you deadbeat give me drug just, head! Just a little change, man! Man, hey, where do these whoa, people whoa, get off? Whoa, whoa. Like I'm gonna pay for their drug habits. Well, say something! You are so fucking laid back! Warren! Come on! Want some? Good. We walked all the way over here so you could snort coke? No, listen. Ah, uh, that's better. Huh? That's better. Man, Michael gets the good stuff. It's got some laxative in it, though. Gives you a stomach problem. <laughs> nice detail. Yeah, listen, huh? Where were we? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, I need you to head up to Duke's and get a car for me. It's a silver blister. And it's packed in the projects by EIC subway station. Okay? Sure. <laughs> you yeah. got keys? Uh, no, Yokel. I need you to take the car. Asko owes Mikhail some money. Take his car instead, huh? We're gonna <laughs> drive over there? What? Are we gonna drive over there? No. You're gonna take the train, buddy. You think I wanna be in the car with the peasant? Come on. I'm gonna go meet somebody. <laughs> Have a little <Okay>. party. <laughs> Fine. Have bye, fun, dickhead. This car belonged to Vlad. No, it's mom. Who asked you? It belongs to Vlad now. You should pay your debts. You that fat Russian's bitch? Just try and take.
have your new car, Vlad. It's not pretty, though. Real dirty. Dirty? I can't sell a dirty car. I know your cousins like them dirty. Maybe your whole yokel family drives around in a dirty car, but it's not the way over here. Fucking peasants don't do nothing right. Hey, I could fuck this car up worse than a little dirt. Relax, man. You should lose your age. There is a car wash over on Saratoga Avenue. Just take it over there, and then to my lockup, just up Mohawk. Did they give the car up easy? He's a little bruised, but he gave it up easy enough. Good. Dead guys can't pay interest. You're dirty. It's World War III. Put the car in your lockup. You're not as stupid as you look, Yoko. Come back to see me at the parcel. Darts for me, cousin. I have other missiles to launch. Sure, cousin. Call me when you have moments.
Hey, Mickey. What do you have? Glass of water. Glass of water. Bang, bang, you are dead. Wake up, you moron. You got me. Come over here. Sit down. You remember Ivan? No. Guy you saw me talking to. This guy. Uh, this guy. Oh, yes. You guys had the little kiss. Very funny. What would you say if I told you he was going to rob your cousin? I'd say, what problem has he got with my cousin? Hold on. Hey! Hey, hey, gorgeous. No, I can't talk right now. What are you wearing? No, I mean underneath it. Great. Listen, I'll call you back, huh? Sorry! Who was that? Never you mind. Was it Ivan? Ooh, that's funny. You know, for a dumb yokel, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for an annoying dick, you're really an annoying dick. Well, it's a real shame, then, that I'm the guy with the powerful friends, and you're the little punk whose only friends is some fat weasel who drives a fucking cab! So, why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Faustin. Offended him. He think he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Then we say it was just a robbery that failed. And what if I say I don't want to be your hitman? <laughs> that Mr. Faustin will be very angry with you. And your cousin. Hmm. Okay. I knew we would understand each other once I put it in this simple way. Now! Go wait for him by the car depot. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, where were we? Okay, now listen. Let's talk about tonight. I wasn't sure about killing you when Vlad asked. Now I'm coming around to the idea. in this country was fat and slow. Vlad don't like you no more, man. There's nothing in this town. Don't do this for him. You've run out of roof, dickhead. Please, 
Vlad told you to kill me, right? I wasn't stealing nothing from your cousin's place. No one's going to know that I'm alive, not even my mother. I'll stay out of Hove Beach. I'll be a ghost. I promise. Please! Get up. Once you're dead, you can't be all bad. Stay out of Hove Beach. Thank you. You won't regret this, man. I am out of here! Wanted to live anyway, get away from all these people from back home? Get into the real America. You're never gonna see me around here again. I owe you my life, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. You won't be seeing your boyfriend Ivan no more. Oh, are you going to miss him? No, I'm not. I'm getting enough pussy at the moment. I tell you, it's so much better if women already have a man, because you don't have to deal with all this shit all day. Take Mallory, for example. Fuck you! You say this to my face and I will break you! What's wrong? Hey, cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh, what about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. Yeah. No. I think she's messing around with Vlad. I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this warthog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nikobelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! All right, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait! Don't do anything stupid! Wait for me! Don't do anything stupid, cousin! Nothing is stupid as letting that fat swine give it to Mallory. Hey, it happens! I, we, we have an open relationship! I do my thing, she does hers, uh, maybe next time I might watch them at it! Oh, don't watch this fat, hairy, sweaty back going up and down! I can't take it! How could she do this?! I knew you cared. I have to do this. Wait, Nico, you have to think this through. Stay out here. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Give me a drink. Anyway, you got it. 
Я говорю, про капусту. Зачем нужно жрать капусту, если есть картошка? Эй! Картошка! Bloody boy! I'd like a word with you. What are you doing yeah, here? Did I summon you? Boy, I told you to stay away from Mallory. Ah, go away! And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you think oh, I give a fuck, man, peasant? A oh, really there he is. Day. Hey, Fatty. I'm so sorry you're so upset. Oh, poor fucking... <laughs> hey, Vlad, can't oh, we just talk about this? <laughs> you stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that, boy? Yeah. Now, get them out of come here. On, come on, come on. Get back outside, Roman. He's gonna hurt. Running away! We win! Let's go home! I'm not walking away until this thing is finished. It is finished! He's running! We won't see him again! He'll come back. The only thing that will hold him down is six feet of dirt. Forget about Mallory. Plans change and, you know, when Vlad is done with her... Go a fucking spy! You think Vlad won't come after us when I am chasing him like this? I have to end it. Here and now. Shit! I don't like this! Fuck! Fuck! Keep your head down. I'm going to finish this. Stop! Nico! Shit! You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. Fucking Yokel! You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out! You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha! I'm throwing your life away, prick! We'll do all right! My friends will track you down! You won't last a moment! I'll last longer than you will, shithead! Fuck you! I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off! You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man! Mikhail Fausti thought of me as a brother. He will get revenge! Your half bitch is a small place. My friends will find you! You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. Ah, you're a big boy, Vladdy. Hey, go! Ah. Well, I guess this is over. What have you done? Who does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to be calm, you halted the jump! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. What do you expect? I give him a massage? Shit! Shit! Shit. <sighs> when I was in the army, we were going on the mission. To ambush a squad would kill a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies. But we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup. For money. Twelve people died. Three escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? 
You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago, and you don't care whose life you ruin anyway. No. Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. If you're fast, then he's going to kill us. Shit. We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. Roman, I'm here. What are you doing? Why do you whisper? I want to talk to you. The past wrinkle. Come, Nico, quick! Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico! <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man! I'm freaking out, man! I'm being followed! I saw them! Don't be ridiculous! You're being paranoid! I'm be... Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, <laughs> and then you show up! And now we're dead! Because Felsten is a psychopath! He's going to kill us! Because we killed Vlad! Vlad was his man! That's how it works! You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman, get out of there, man. Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. They don't care about him. All they care about is making money. So, we say we work for them. Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh. Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. Wake up! <laughs> we had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin. Roman. Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. You're dead like sit up the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? No! I tied up in the basement a long way from home, while some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut your fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television! Good lord. What are you doing? Nothing. I mean, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. 
Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Bellic, you think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. Do it! Oh. I agree. <laughs> asshole, look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Bozo my. Now listen, Nico Bellic. You are very lucky Blood was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some digheads in my neighborhood trying to run a shipment, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Shut up, Roman. Shut up! Roman, shut up! Shut up! Shut up, Roman! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Roman, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Fuck! Oh, you! Shut up! Stop shooting people, you maniac! My wife doesn't like when people shout! Whatever! You better get those screens soon! Or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out! One by one, and watch his guts spill onto the floor! Clean this shit up! Listen, we'll take care of your cousin, but you better get a police car. And then you call me! Roman! Roman! Go! 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 I, I'll take care of him. Fuck! Police car, what now? The van is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin. Not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TVs. Goodbye. Get out with no funny business. I ain't got nothing. You wasting your time. What you got back there? TVs? Show me. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. Nishta, yebiga. Come out real slow, shithead. I wouldn't do this. Kenny Petrovic is looking after this truck. Open up the back. You got any flat screens? Big fucking mistake. Motherfucker! <laughs>
I need Fuck your it, car, man. mister. I'll take it, bitch. Just don't hit me. Not again. Let's go. I've left the van where you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Thank you. Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. My judgment. That's a good one. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Calm? Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Barbitrid? Always so fucked up on painkillers. You don't give a shit. You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia. Or selling hash to tourists in Red Square. Or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I am angry. You are calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Blah, blah, too many blah, bodies, blah, too much blah, attention blah, blah, will be blah. dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Mm, not we. Strange. When I give out the money, it's us. When I have to push people, it's me. All alone. Don't think I cannot see through you. After all we've done together. You're getting delusional. Look, we have to go. I fucking love you. Yes, yes. I fucking love you. I know Yes. This. But you treat me like a child. I run things my way. Dimitri Raskolov, my fucking way! Get out of my sight! Or I fucking kill you! I'm not saying don't run things your way. I'm saying be calm. Here. Take a couple of these. What are you still doing here? I said get out of my side! We're going to that sex shop 
on Hove Beach. This guy been making porno in his basement, and he didn't cut Mikhail in. At least he could have done is sent over some tapes. You know how much money there is in selling this stuff online? A whole fucking heap. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. No, it's Mikhail that has that issue. Can't keep his finger off of the triggers. Wasn't always like this, though. Things got to him. I hope it don't get to me. Where's your boss? What do you mean? He's, uh... In the back? No, 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 he's... You better not be filming. Uh, no, they're just having a meeting, I swear. Get out of the way! <clears throat> Fuck. You see? They don't make them like that no more. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos and sell them, whoa, and whoa, we won't whoa. know about it, we huh? We was just waiting until the ah. books was closed at the end ah. of the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you Your in. books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. We ain't making that much cash. It's not the... Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push in one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the leg. Hey, <laughs> all right, all right already. Brett was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have... You should have thought of that earlier. Don't kill me. I got a load of desperate fans on the internet. Joseph, I thought you were a better businessman than this. Ah! We're gone, Nico. And we're going to an alleyway off of Dillon Street in Chapel. I want to buy you a present. Will you wrap it up and put a pretty bow on it? Screw you. We're seeing a friend of mine who's got a good line on weapons. It's on the ground. A back room place. There are a few around the city. The mayor has a real hard on for gun control. Guns don't seem that controlled. I've seen plenty and I just got here. And now you'll know where to get them for yourself. What's the problem? Mikhail, I know that you don't have to do this. It's all right. I didn't kill Joseph. We will make more money with him alive. Chort Mikhail! Mikhail! Fuck! You're lucky Ramadan tried to make you kill someone every two seconds. The shop is just down that alleyway. Pick up what you like. Tell them to put it on Mr. Faustin's account. All right, you don't look like a cop. Buy what you want. I'll take this one. Charge Mr. Faustin. You fucking Ruskies are milking me dry. I ain't a cow. I ain't Russian.
Drive us to Mr. Faustin's. So, you and Mr. Faustin, have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need your help. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. Thank you for your help, Nico. Come to see us at the club soon. Mikhail will be cool He's by lying. then. He fell over. I never touched the guy. Hey boy, don't ah, move, don't move. The fuck don't are you move, boy. Me? Oh, you? Eh? Oh, where you come from? Oh, you? Hey, man, I'm here to see Jacob. It's Nico. Nico? Batman, what go on down there, sir? Some boy I just saw a beat off the door. Some boy I just saw a call himself Nico, say, so want to see a road boy. Nico? I'm a boy that Batman, man. Yo, free up the boy, man, yo. Are you a boy that? Yeah. Sure. Boy that, come yo. on, you. Come 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 on, you. You want to control the taxi? You have people that knock on people door and thing. You have to be careful and thing. No, it's okay. Yeah, man. See, you tell. Hey, don't you have worry to watch about what you're doing. You know. See, you're a boy over there, son. Nico. Go deal with them soon. Oh, I'm Nico. You all right? Hey, no problem. As good an introduction as any other. Yeah, me hear that, you know? <laughs> anyway, some boy around with bad man, you know? I want to ask you a favor. Go on now. Hey, my youth. Some boy of them dip on the corner and thing, and the boy of them sell some things and thing, and I go on and I say, oh. Them don't want to give me my money and thing, and every corner of my corner, and I want my money and thing, you know. I know sweat I got going, you know. I want to deal with the kids proper, you know, see it. All right, let me explain. It's a business thing I go on down there. Right. They are selling weed, but they're not supposed to sell weed, and they're not cutting them in. Okay. So when you go down there and deal with them, see it? Right, it's not going to be cheap. Where do I find them? Cheap? Cheap, my youth. You worry about cheap? We not worry about cheap, you know. The boy them dip on the corner, I say the boy them other things and uh, on my corner that and thing and I say every corner on my corner and thing I'm gonna like that to the boy them go and say, oh, they wanna give me my money. Oh, something for go on with that. Alright, hear me now. What bad man is saying is the boy them are some nervous, seeing? You go find them when you go up on the corner of Alpha and Salt Boat and seeing? When you go down and say you go see and, and just deal with them, seeing? Right, you'll find out how them work, alright? Alright. All right. No, you want someone to split for you? No, Not thanks. You sure? I'm sure. All right. Respect. My yo, pass me some of that thing we have over there, sir. All right. Yeah. All right, King. Some good shit. You done clean me out. Yo, I'm all out of product. Dropping in to pick some up. Be ready.
Nico, it's your cousin. You want to shoot some pool? This isn't a good time, Roman. I got another type of shooting on my mind. Tell Batman that I got rid of the competition. Righteous. They kinda belong to I again. And nobody gonna fuck with I's kinda no more, no things. One love, Nico. Nico. How's it going? Okay. You and Batman got any more work you need help with? It's a funny thing you should mention that to me, my brother. Batman is right impressed with what you're doing for I and I. He wants to know if you want to deliver some package around town to some various people and things in the city. Plenty of car that for you, you know. That sounds good. Wicked man. Give me a call when you're ready for this first run. There'll be a lot of work, so call whenever, you know? One love, Brendan. Okay, nema problema. Hi, Dimitri. Hey, Dimitri, I took care of that thing for you. Very good. I'm proud of you. Good.
Dimitri, thank you for taking care of that thing for me. No problem. <laughs> Dimitri, Dimitri, hey, oh. hey, uh, meet my girl, oh. Natasha. Oh, so my nice pleasure. So nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> little delicious. Oh. A little kind. <laughs> Mikhail. <laughs> hey, my brother and Nico. Good. Sit down. Oh, have a drink. Baby. Move up, ladies. Move up. Uh, Mikhail, we have something we need to talk about. Okay. Yeah. You can have your alte Katrina. Come on. <laughs> Not no that. In private. <laughs> Girls, can you give us a minute, huh? <laughs> Please. Okay. Oh, Get out of here. I see. Keep it warm. I won't be too long. So, what is it? We've got police trouble. The feds or someone are all over us. Sergei told me that a friend of his in the courts told him they've been authorized to tap our phones and they know about the pot we stole. Shit. Who is the rat? It's no one. It's just the way we've been behaving. Making too much noise. This was inevitable. We're going to have to calm things right down for a while. It's that fucking guy, yeah. I know it is. I saw it in his eyes. You know? That guy. That guy who bought the Coke. But he didn't buy the That's pot. That's Lenny. He's my cousin's boyfriend. It's not him. Yes, he's a moron. Yes, but he's okay. I don't trust him. What? I just told you. He knows too much. Oh. You, get him. Are you sure? Sure? No, I'm not. Right now, I'm wondering if it's him or you. It could be you. Think for a second. This has been going on for months. Think. Look where your thinking has got us. You were in charge of security. Good job. Well done, Dimitri. You pathetic idiot. You, prove you're loyal. Go and kill the guy. Don't question my loyalty. Then don't question my orders. He lives on Guantanamo Avenue in Bohan. Head up there and call me. Me personally, when you get there. Mikhail, please, don't do this. Shut up. I, shut the fuck up. I'm begging I you. Said, shut the fuck please up. Please, don't Go. do this. Why don't you You listen? want to play games? This hey, is not a, a game. Stop. You have to play I by the stop. rules. Austin, you want to call this off? No, I never change my mind. I've heard he's at the Guantanamo Avenue station. Go to the platform and get rid of that rat. Shut up, Dimitri! For the last time!
Hey, Lenny, Mr. Faustin thinks you're a rat. He ain't taking no risks. I made to more shit than Mikhail could even imagine. Why would I rat? The decision has been made. My dad pays you to ice crazy bitches like this guy. Hold on a second. you have done. I have followed Mr. Faustin's orders. Not much more. The boy you killed was the son of Kenny Petrovich. This is a very dangerous man. You will not take kindly to this. How was I to know? You weren't. This is Mikhail's craziness. I will speak to people and see what I can do. Just get there. Damn these people. Hey, Roman. Who is steroid tip? Brucey! Have you met my cousin, Nico? This is Brucey. We met online. Oh, lovemeet.net? Ha! <laughs> no! In a dark corner, doing dark deeds. We're both players, my friend. Players. VIP. For real. Classy. But also sexy. Hmm. That's how I like my women. I work at it, so they should too, right? <laughs> yeah. What is he talking about? Bruce is a dreamer. Uh -huh. He understands my vision. <laughs> oh, so he's an idiot. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Screw you! Listen, man, you should try going online. Uh, I know how to go on the line. I just haven't done it here. <laughs> of course. Technophobe. Ludite. We gotta get you online. It's a world of opportunities. Such as? Uh, all kinds of things. Yesterday, I was online, and I discovered a blog about women who don't like to shave. That's pretty important. Listen, I promised Brucey I'd go out with him. Can you go out and get it sorted? Uh, okay. Go to Twat and register on one of the PCs there. A pretty girl is expecting you. I'm bored of not being able to email your cousin, and the family keeps sending me news for you. <sighs> Brucey, yeah! stop Let's... exercising. Okay. Let's put some bitches to the sword. VIP style, come on! He's a cool guy. Yeah. I'm not sure how to do it. I'm not sure how to do it. Hey there. My name's Nico. My cousin, he told me to come here. Roman? He called me about you. He's so funny. I set you up on that computer already. It's easy. Just follow the instructions on there, okay?
I see you again, Romance Cop. I have set up the email account. I am now online in Liberty City, Roman. Nice one, cousin. Did you meet the girl who works there? Nice pair of titties on her, no? Later on. Nico, my friend Brucey has a business proposition for us. He going to pay me to pump him full of steroids and tell him how great his abs are? No. He can take care of that all by himself. Bruce is a major motorhead. He's going to send you emails about all the cars he wants, and you're going to get them for him. What are you going to do? Come on! I made the introduction! I'm the manager, man! Go check your emails, Nico. Let's hang out soon, okay? Hey, I'm out making money here. all day. How many like times do I have to tell you? Keep an eye on I the fucking the girl. Ghost on you. 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 you. Ghost on you. Ghost on you. Where's Dimitri? Uh, he's busy. Uh, he said he had something to do. Something. Something. Let me tell you something. Me and this guy, we were in the army together. We were in prison together. We are like brothers. Now it's always something. Always something. Always something, yes. You want a drink? No, thank you. Well, I do. <laughs> you all right? What? Mr. Fauston? No! I'm fucking angry. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you something. You know her? No. Good. Because if you did, I'd fucking kill you. Why? She's my daughter. Ungrateful bitch. I bring her here. I spoil her rotten. Raise her well. Look at this. Look. Look what I've given her! Yeah, yeah. She's uh, very lucky to have such a loving father. She is. She's an out-of-control bitch. Because of you, you pathetic mess. But I don't accept my daughter turning into a whore. Nico, she's at Firefly Island. Go there. If she's meeting up with that bike pimp boyfriend, get him. Find Dimitri for me. Okay. Have him call me. Sure. Go. All right. Property of the lost now? Ha, <laughs> if you were property, then all the brothers would get to share you. I want you <laughs> all to myself. Mm. Get away from Mr. Faustin's daughter. Fuck you! 
This ain't Russia, and we ain't communists. Tell my father I can see whoever I like. I'm gonna get the brothers, and we're gonna kick your fucking ass! the biker. I don't know how happy your daughter will be. I don't care about her. I care about this and me that well. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me that I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village and you see 50 children all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Эмма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nicobelic baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> what did you want? Oh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money. Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Schuttler on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here.
Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, trigger the explosive. Should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Roman, we should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. I need the car, don't worry. Insurance will pay. Anything. Ah! Let's squash it.
sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me. Hello? I'm busy. I said hello. Ow! Motherfucker! Is your boss around? What'd you do that for? Is your boss around? Yeah, he's around. Brucey, some fucking Polak asshole for you. Pleasure to meet you, too. He's not a Polak. He's a gentleman. Still a fucking asshole. Sorry, Nicky, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, can you show me that again? Hey, ah, oh, ah, oh, enough, man. Enough. Oh, oh. Fuck me, man. You'll be all right, huh? Oh, that's some Red Army shit. Serious. You gotta show me that one. I'm all about power. Come on, touch my backs, man. No, thank you. Rock hard. I bench 450. I'm a. Uh, no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. No shit. What are you doing here, man? Well, Roman said maybe you needed some help, and we need some money real bad. Shit, my bad. Yeah, of course. Love that guy. Love him. I mean, I am no chubby chaser, but if I was and a queer, that guy would be in trouble, you know I'll what I mean? I'll let them know. <laughs> hey, I'm shitting with you. Brucey likes pussy. Remember that, all right? Okay. All right now, Nikki, listen up. I know you guys need money bad. Yeah. This ain't a nice job. Not exactly mom and pop shit. No problem, as long as the pay is good. Sometimes people fuck other people over, okay? And the people that fuck other people need to get fucked with, especially people that go into hiding before they can get on the stand and put a lot of guys inside for a lot of time. What? I need you to whack some people, only they're in hiding. How do I find them? Man, you're cold! You didn't even blink! Love that! I fucking love that! You gotta steal a police car, get on the computer, give me a call. They're easy to hack. Not really. All right, Brucey. I'll give you a call. Ice cold, man! Ice cold!
You know the drill. Get out. That's right. I'm here. I have a computer. You're a badass, man. I love it. Now, this cat's name's Lyle Reeves. Type it into the computer, and you should get some known whereabouts and shit. I take them out myself, but when people see me coming, they fucking run, man. Know what I'm saying? Cats don't want to mess with someone packing 24-inch guns like mine, baby. Yeah! I'll track down this Reeves. Cool, man. I'm feeling chills down the phone. Call me when it's done, bro. Congestion's high, gas is high. Lyle Rivas, I got a message from Brucey for you. Brucey? I thought he was fucking joking. <laughs> Shit! about Rivas anymore. Lethal, man. A lot of people are gonna be very grateful that certain people who fuck with them can't say things to other people or fuck with anyone anymore. If you get me. I get the money you're paying. You're all about the cabin. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce. Ice cold, man. I love it. There'll be some more work when you need it. Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fausto. Uh-huh. <sighs> 
You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. Niko! Niko Belik! You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri... My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen! Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey! I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. God! We'll enjoy you your fight like a war! You are weak. Give up! The strong survive, and the weak die! You will see! I know where I am for a reason! I won't have some Balkan shit take this away from me! I made you what you are, Nico! I showed mercy to you and to your cousin when Dimitri wanted you dead! The time for mercy is over! I must rule with fists of iron! It's over, Fuck 
Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. my money? I have it. Meet me at the warehouse on Maganet in downtown Broker. Come along. All right, my brother. Me and Russian are seriously vexed with you. I only pissed off one. He's dead. I'm going to meet Dimitri to collect on the hit. Yo, Nico, you better watch your back, you know. I know you're wicked, but them boys are some dog -hard. I'm not afraid of him. Yeah, my eyes can't see, the heart can't leave, but you know, I come with you. Where's the place? A warehouse on Mohanit. I know the one. You see around the back. Shot by his, huh? You don't know. My avid scene star. Hey, Nico. Glad you can make it. Yes. You got the money? Sure. But I just wanted to say how grateful me and my bosses are for what you did. Good. Yes. And I just wanted to check something with you. Okay. You are Nico Bellic, correct? What is this? And you used to work the coast in the Mediterranean, smuggling people into Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up and left a lot of bad debt. You left a good friend of mine out of pocket, big time. Hello, Nico. Hello, Mr. Bulgarin. Where is our money? I don't know. I didn't rob you. Really? We were busted a mile off the coast. I had to swim for my life. I don't know what happened. I nearly drowned. Huh. My heart was bleeding. I did my best. I didn't fuck up. Oh, there you are. Ah! Ah! Ah!
So confident now! Back, my friend! Smile, my friend! You're dead! They call this you your fuck! Watch my fucker! Cross the point of on top of us! Get them! Shit! Dimitri and Volker in our lead! Can you hold these men while I go in? Don't leave them on a few ground crew, man! Don't get a spear, man! Get me good, Nico. I don't know how long I got. That hurt! Yo, make go back to the cafe, see? But not to lose Babylon car, sight? Sight! Yo, find me a car, we have to get out of here! <laughs> Everything crashed back there. Babylon all over the place. The lose them! I'm trying to fucking lose them. Yo, who fucked up the game back there? What went wrong? I don't fucking know, and I can't think about it now. I need to shake these fucking pigs! Babylon just a whole man down. You're right, you're standing on Nico. You lose Babylon, man. Power back in the cafe now. Yeah, I need to block up some more. I told you Dimitri was a snake in the grass. I didn't know that Mr. Bulgarin was here in Liberty City. If I could have killed them all then and there. Just chill, Nico, man. One at a time. What? I'm going to speak to Batman. You keep on alone. Call me, woman, and get out of this place. Hey. Thanks for your help, Jacob. One love, my brother. Are you kidding me? Позвонили Димитрию и Броскову. 
Я сейчас не могу ответить. Пожалуйста, оставьте ваше сообщение, и я вам перезвоню. Roman! Roman, where are you? In here! I'm stuck! Let me out! Shit, man! <gasps> what are you doing in there? I got scared. People started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone! What happened? We've got a big problem. Dimitri was not a man of his word. So we're dead! More or less. Everything was fine before yes. you. Yes. Fine, and now this! Thank you! Thanks a lot! It's Vanny! Nibit. What's done is done. Yes. But there's a bigger problem. What? That guy I owed money to, Bulgarin. Yes, the guy in Europe. Who lives by the Adriatic? Yeah, yeah, he's here now. Uh, great. I'm sorry. I've ruined your life. No, don't be like that. We, we can find a way out of this. Bunch of idiot Russians. I will kill every one of them. No, that's exactly what you won't do. We don't have time for revenge. We can't afford it. What can we afford? Uh, we can lay low and start over. Please. Come on. Let's go back to the apartment. We can pick up our stuff, and then get out of here. I'll call Mallory. She might have somewhere we can hide out. Hey, beautiful! Um, listen, me and Nico are in a bit of trouble. Um, need to get out of broker a few days. Any of your cousins have a place we could use out in Bohem? Oh, you're an angel. Beautiful and kind. I love you. We'll see you there. <sighs> Maybe things are not so bad. This I did not expect. I was thinking about hitting out of the cab business. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat and relax. Classy place. None of this fast food diner bullshit. We own a real restaurant. Tavern is a place of distinction, you know? I can't see myself settling down. Not now, but in the dream, you've met the right woman. She's beautiful, pure like my Mallory. In the dream, Mallory and me are married and every... What the fuck? Holy fuck, it's fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in. I've got to get something. Leave it, cousin. This place is gone. They burnt it! They fucking burnt it, Nico! Do you know how long it took me to get the place of my own? You got off the boat and I was here for you! I know you were. I got here and I had nothing! Nobody! I worked my way up from the fucking dirt! Jesus! It's on fire! Fuck! I've got nothing left! Not my home, not my business, nothing! They took it all! I'm sorry, Roman. I'm really sorry, but we have to go. We'll meet Mallory and Bohan. You still have her. And you! For all the good you've done me!
Do you know how long it took me to get set up here? You don't, because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. It took me months to get some cash together. Finally, I bought a cab, and then another. Then I got the depot. I slept under my desk at that place for over a year. Then I got the apartment. The apartment you thought was so shitty. Well, it doesn't matter. And now it's gone, along with everything else. I said I was sorry. You have a lot to apologize for. Since you got here, I've had my computer smashed. I've been beaten up. I was kidnapped and then shot in the stomach. My apartment got burned down and so did my business. Things have been going so great. Just great since you showed up. You remember that time when we went to the bar back home and found it raised to the ground? Just a pile of rubble. Everything smashed. Except for that one bottle of vodka. Yeah, we sat down and finished it off there and then. Wait, wait, I don't want to talk about back home. We're here in America now. And I should be thinking about my life here. My life, which is ruined. Just drive, shut up, drive. <laughs> Hey, beautiful. What's up? No, what do you mean? I haven't been crying since my allergies. <laughs> Nico's wearing this new cologne. <laughs> you yeah, trying to impress Michelle or something. They're coming to your cousins. Are you there? Great. See you in a bit, beautiful. My dream? It was just that. A dream. I can't have the tavern now. I have nothing to buy it with. I, I have nothing. I told you. You still have Mallory. But I wanted to really have her. I wanted to marry her. You can still do that. I had bought her a ring. That is what I wanted to show you. It was a beautiful ring. It was with you. Now I have nothing. Come on. Roman, pull yourself together. You've been here before. Positive, mental... Attitude. Come on! Mm. At least they want me dead, and not you. <sighs> I do not think it will be much difference to them, Nico. One dead Belik will give them a little bit of happiness while they wait for next. I do not care, though. We are in this situation. We must deal with it. Bring on the Bohan! Okay. Beginning of our new lives. Again. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we'll be impressing women with our wonderful hot tub, but uh, this looks okay. Yes, great. Come on, what's what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Where should I start? All right, I'll start with you. What's wrong with you? Fifteen minutes ago, you were cowering in fear because you didn't know what was going to happen. Now, you know everything is shit, and you're going to be killed, and you're all cheerful. I don't get it. I guess I'm an optimist. An idiot, not an optimist. I was bought a broker anyway! I'm glad you turned up and made some Russian killers burn down my oh. home and business. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Nico. Thanks a bunch. Is that better? March! Thank God you're okay. Both of you. We're fucked. We're broke and on the run. No, I'm from up here, Nico. I know a bunch of people who might be able to help out. Why don't you come and meet me at the community center later on? I gotta go to work. Bye, Papi. And have a shower. You smell a little, um, mature. So, I guess we start again. Sure. I'm going out.
This is the one, man. We're gonna get a really nice shot of them. It's gonna be beautiful. I mean, you okay. taught him these moves. Right? No. But we wanna make sure that we see them. Okay. okay? Well, we wanna see you. Just too. film it, man. Okay. Well, just keep looking at me, but stand over there. Okay. You been here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. Good. Okay. Yeah. Go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. You ready for this? Yes, I am. Turn this way, please. Turn this way. Five. Yeah. Six. Looking at me. Seven. Eight, eight. Good. 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 Right over here. Let me see you work. This way. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Perfect. Cool. 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 So how do I look, man? You look good. Do I look gay? No, not at all. It's a, it's a very manly kind of dance. Okay. So here we go then. Yeah. See, it's the streets, man. But people gotta understand the struggles. For real. You know what I'm saying? They gotta understand the struggles. Yeah. Oh, hey, Nico. <laughs> this is my boyfriend's cousin, the guy I was telling you about, Nico. How's my Roman doing anyway? For a guy who just lost his home and his business, who now has a price on his head, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I love his optimism. So, Nico. This is Manny. We grew up together. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Streets, man. All right. This is all the right. guy I told you about who beat up all those thugs and broke up. Yeah, great. Listen, Melody, would you uh, give us a little space, please? All right, Thanks. all right. Okay, yeah, great. So, uh, so you know, streets take no prisoners, right? But you know, kids need hope. You know what I'm saying? Not really. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta break some omelets to make some eggs, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and... Uh... Yeah, well, you know, we gotta clean up some eggs, brother. We're gonna clean them up, you know? Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Turn around, man, right here. Here, Manny Escuela is rapping with a street accomplice about cleaning up the streets yeah. of Cohen. Yeah, turn that off. These wait, wait, criminals wait are trying to reform their neighborhood. Wait. Hey, hey, please, hey, hold on a second. Hey, wait! Ah. Yeah. Manny! Sorry. Uh, okay, everyone, that'll be all for today. <laughs> that, that was great. <laughs> Thank you very much. That'll be all for today. Thanks a lot. What are you doing? What are you saying? We're, we gotta get some of these dealers off the streets, man, you know? And I want them to know it was me, man. Fine, just uh, don't point the camera at me when you're doing it. Well, that's my testimony, man. Look, brother, would you help, please? Look, I got money. I got, I got money. In which case, you've got help. Good. All right. Hey, how's the camera? It's not good. What do you mean it's no good? Can Just you don't tape even... Okay. All right, okay. Well, listen, look. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get all these dealers up the streets, and we're going to kick their ass, and they're going to know it was me. We need a car if we're going to clean these streets. Last I heard, these dealers was up on Grand Boulevard. Let's go to take a look, man. So, you and Mallory is tight, huh? She and your cousin is together now. I love that girl, man. I love her, man. Your cousin better not be messing with her head. You're gonna propose, right? gonna make an honest woman of her, right? I think that's as much of a decision of Mallory's as it is Roman's. I don't know if he's grown up enough to make a good husband. What's it to you, anyway? I didn't know you and Mallory was that close. Shit, man. Man, he's close to everyone who grew up. The dealer and his drug wagon are up there. Pull up behind and we wait. They're my people, all right? Sure. There he be. We got to follow him to them other leeches, man. They be sucking the damn life out of these streets. It's two car lengths, right? Uh, that's how far you stay behind the woman when you're harassing her? Mine, man. I can feel them flowing through my veins. You sound like you got something else in your veins. Man, I ain't touched that shit in years. Who you been talking to, man? I'm clean, man. Serene. Fucking serene. Oh, I'm sorry. You ever thought about doing some TV? 
you might be able to get a series of the back of mine, you know? Nico Bellic Street Justice, bro. Not really my scene. Just wait till you see your face on the screen, man. Maybe you change your mind then. Yeah, I always wanted to be a well-known idiot. People say to me, Manny, why you do this? Why you want to clean up the street so bad? What's your passion? Do you tell them to get famous? It's for the love, man. They know me because I help people, man. I'm all love, kid, for these streets. Looks like he's about to stop, yo. You best pull up behind him, man. Follow him into that warehouse and get rid of the dealers. I thought you were going to clean up the streets. Hey, the message is what's important, man. It don't matter who gives it. I, for one, ain't in this shit for the ego trip. You taking my money, aren't you? Be my voice. I'm gonna go back and get Jay.
You done, son? Here's one home now. It's safe, daddy. Five cover, hear me? You about to get It's fired. on and popping, now. Let's rush this jump, fam. This ain't no fucking movie. Sights playing. Did you think I was a joke? Some street warrior stands yeah. outside the site of another gangland massacre. That's right. Oh, cut. What? Okay. What? Oh, oh, oh. Could you walk out of there just one more time? We need to get the shot just right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can put my foot to your face if you like. I don't mind doing that again oh, and again till oh, I get it right. Easy, easy, Nico. Hey, they look good, huh? Was it a good mixture of that sadness and resolve? You looked great. Great, yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, from the top? Yeah, right here. Wait, wh where are you going? Eh. More senseless death than the police aren't even here yet. Help has only one name on the streets of South Bowen. Manny Escuela. That's right. Follow me. We'll be prepared. Street life ain't pretty. So can you take me to Mohawk Avenue, yes? You got it. I'm in the rush. No problem, I'll live for this shit. Here we are, man. End of the line. Yes, yes, hello. You will look good in this. I can tell. I always tell. Nico Bellic. We did not find your body with the others in the warehouse. Mr. Bulgarin and I were very disappointed. I was loyal to you, Dimitri. Why did you turn on me? You think I could survive in a cesspit of a city like this by aligning myself with a bottom feeder like you? You who has so many enemies! You robbed Bulgarin, you killed Mikhail. You know no more of loyalty than I do. You know why I killed Faustin. It was not my choice. I will find you, Nico. I have burnt you and your cousin out of Hove Beach. I will smoke you out of any other hiding place you have in this city. See you soon, Nico. Thirty two? Thirty three? Thirty five? There's someone here to see you. I'm working out! Hey, Brucey. Nico! One second. Sorry. Why didn't you tell me it was Nico? Why? Man, women. Man. Women. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, I'm ready for you, Nikki. I'm ready. I'm ready for fucking anything. Yeah! Wah! 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 Whoa! Oh, motherfucker. Are you all right? You seem a little tense. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just juicing. Makes me a little pent up. Juicing? Yeah. Bull shark testosterone, amigo. Ordered online from Chile. Makes you feel really male. Hey, be careful, man. I heard that stuff does funny things to your balls. Hey. Do I look like I got funny balls to you? <laughs> I haven't considered it. Uh, you sent me a message. What do you want? Want help? I'm losing the plot here. Pause. Nah, I'm shitting you, man. Now look, you did really good with that thing. A lot of people are very grateful. Now listen, that guy Lyle had a car worth stealing. Can you get it? He left it in an alleyway off of Yorktown Avenue in Steinway. If you pay like last time, no problem. Yeah, of course. Any risks? Nah. 
Easy as can be. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll just go take care of it then. Yeah! Bye. No risks, Brucey? Maybe this juicing is fucking with your head. He trying to take Lyle's bribe. That's Lyle's bribe. Just a wound. You want me to finish you off? Brucey asked me to bring this by. You're lucky it looks as good as it does. The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself in the mirror. Thanks. The car is in your lockup. It was not so easy. People were waiting for me. Shit, man. If I'd known it'd be like that, I'd have gone to get it. People don't fuck with Brucey. I mean, you're cool, though. You made it, man. You got the mad red army driving skills. I'll sort you out with some big rims, spinning ones, crazy original styles. You know, we'll cruise, we'll hang. All right, all right? Thanks, homie. Thanks.
Okay, guys, I just want to get one more shot, please. This is going to look great. Right over here. Officer, please, I need you this way. Thank you. Tight, upper Manny. I need you guys tight. It's going to be great. Okay, thank you. A little closer. Thank you so much. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful. Now, we are going to be. All I can say is I hope you'll continue to make the community a better place. Hey, man, you know, for a cop, you ain't so bad, man. You know, give it up. The streets, man. Word. Give it up. Hey, Officer McCree, this is Nico right here. This is my man, Nico. Oh, good to meet you. Uh, I hear you're helping this guy with his vital work for our city. Oh, no, I'm uh, just a tourist. Uh, look, Manny, I gotta go. All right. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, officer. Thanks. Yeah, you know, it was a real big thing for me, you know what I'm saying? A real street cat to start working with the gatekeepers of the community to make things better. I mean, where I'm from, out here, man, police, it's a dirty word, man. Manny, you know? I got things to do. You, off. Yo, man, I was just getting my flow on, man. I ain't right for years. I was one of them cats who invented that shit, man. It went commercial. Yeah, like charity work. Shit, man, I'm the voice of the streets, man. Yo, if I'm gonna make some money, that's the way shit's gonna be. All right, I'm just saying. See, whatever, man, fucking punk. <laughs> Yo, listen, homeboy, I, I need you to do me a favor, man. Listen, man, I need you to help me out, man. I need you to get some bitches taken out, moved on, whatever. Because, yo, I promised Mr. McCready I was going to get this place cleaned up, and I will. Okay, how many? A bunch, man, a bunch. They're hanging out and making bad shit happen all over South Bohan, man. They're over on Windmill Street right now. All right. What did they do? Man, they disrespected the codes of the streets, man. The streets, man, they owe you, man. They owe you big time. As long as they pay. Over here, man. I'm on you. Yo. That's what I'm saying, man. Streets, we got codes, man. You know what I'm saying? We live by these codes. You know what I mean? I got rid of your street problem. Now help me out with my financial one. Yeah, it's all business with you, kid. But that's okay. Money's what makes these streets sing, man. I'll call you when I get more work. Stay safe. Stay real. Avenue. You got Here we are, man. End of the line. Whew. Hey, man. Hey, guys. <sighs> Taxi. <sighs> hey! Hit me! What? Hit me! Come on! Nico, you want to go on a date? Uh, <laughs> Come on, what's wrong with you? Okay, who is she? That's the thing, it's a guy. Fuck you. No, dude, listen! The cousin of that guy you killed, Lyle Rivas, owes me a lot of money. And the dick won't pay. Instead he said he's gonna have me kill that bitch. hi -ya! Oh, yes. Brucey, you got to chill. For real. Yeah. 
Now listen, NB, this guy isn't hiding, but he's a serious... He's a serious cockhound! Oh, so you think of me? No, but the guy knows me, and I don't think anyone would date that fat slob. So, I'm just doing your profile. All right, let me see. I am a vulnerable guy who needs to be held by big, strong arms? <laughs> yeah. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> I knew we should have made him a giver, not a taker, Brucey. Oh, shut up! <laughs> now listen, Nikki. I need you. And I will pay heavily for this. Okay. And Roman, cousin, you're a dick. <laughs> <Who? laughs> Nikki! <laughs> Shit. All right, man. I'm at the Internet Cafe. What now? The website is Love Meet. <laughs> Go to it, bro. The guy you want to date with is using French Tom as his screen name. You heard Animal, man. Eat him alive, okay? Roman's cousin. It's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. It's Nico, by the way. Come back soon, Nico.
go. You tired of Manny yet? I was tired of him as soon as I saw him. <laughs> I got someone else who might have some work for you. Elisabetta Torres. She's got an apartment on San Quentin in Fordside. Meet me there. We're all about conflict resolution in here, pal. Stay safe, stay Second Amendment. Hey, buddy. We're going to Where San Quentin Avenue. Sure Can you thing. drive quick? No time. You asked for it. If that's the way you want it, amigo, then that's what you're gonna get. And that's your humor. You're fucking punk. Oh, hey, como hey, estas? How's it going? <laughs> hey, wait, espera. Jorge, he's with me. Liz, this is Nico, Roman's cousin. And Nico, this is Elisabetta. Hey. She's an old friend. <laughs> She'll get you some work. Okay, thank you, ma. <laughs> so, tough guy, you know about this business? I know about protection. What do you need? I need someone no one knows to oversee a deal I'm not sure about. Easy. I think it'll be a bit more taxing than hanging with Manny on the streets. <laughs> not so. For one, I won't have to listen to him talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> True! Hey, Nico, this is Patrick, Paki McCreary. All right. Hey. So, Paki is shopping, but I've never trusted the people he's buying off, and I can't, in good consciousness, help him unless he's got some extra insurance. You. And that's why you're the best, darling? Ah, uh, maybe. All right, tough guy, let's do this. Sure. See you later, Nico. Goodbye. And will you call Michelle again? She really likes you. Yeah, yeah. When I swear to he seems okay. Oh, he's totally cool. Yeah, he's like family. Where are we going? I got this meeting over on Joylet Street. There's a rifle up on the roof of the place next door. You need to go up there and make sure nothing goes wrong. You'll see me and my boys show up in a bit. You're my guardian angel. You don't trust these guys you're doing the deal with. How come you trust me? You got a good look about you. And I'm lucky with my gut feelings.
Those dealers double-crossed your boy. But I managed to keep him alive. Monomy was right about you. You are good. I have some more work for you. I'm sure Packy is pleased as well, eh? Alright man, if you want my advice, the only way you're going to get your balls back to normal is if you stop juicing or you get implants. How many times? I have to tell you, homie, my balls are golden, okay? I want to talk to you about Roman. He's got a problem. He's gambling like an animal. Online, in clubs, everywhere. You need to control your cousin, bro. Roman's a grown-up. He can look after himself, Brucey. He's getting involved with some serious cats, homie. Even people I might think twice about dealing with. And I'm one dangerous motherfucker, okay? Put him in Gamblers Anonymous or something. I'm starting to think he's more interested in cards than chasing pussy. And that ain't cool, you dig? Sure, Brucey. Thanks for the heads up. Down to Cassidy Street and Shotler. Does Elizabeth get you to do stuff like this often? Elizabeth don't get me to do shit. I just like to keep an eye on things. There ain't a deal in this town I don't know about. I own this city for real. Yeah? Well, how come we haven't met before? <laughs> You obviously ain't been big time. I started small like you played, slinging rocks on the corner, sticking cats up, all type of shit. Them was the old days. Now it's all about diversification. A heroin deal is your way of diversifying? Money talks. Money say jump, cats say how high. This is a cash deal. I got other shit going down as well. What type of shit you got going on? I'm always looking for work. If it pays, that is. I pay like a Slongberg sax bonus, bitch. It's Christmas every day when you rolling with this dude. So you got to work? Not yet. I got to set shit up. But I'll need a cat like you real soon. Give me your number. Tell me about that biker. The one with the smack. Johnny. I ain't working with that cat, but I heard about him. He's doing all type of crazy shit. Blowing stuff up. Them boys, the lost. They in some heavy type of gang war is what I heard. Crazy white boy shit. Think only one group can grow beards and ride bikes in this town. It's a big town. <laughs> Not big enough for some people. What that other gang called? Uh, Death Angels or some shit? Anyways, 
Be careful of this cat. You don't want to even look at him the wrong way. Crazy motherfucker. You scared of him? Yeah, I ain't scared of nobody. All them bikers is racist as shit is all. Cribs on the third floor. Buyer is some Asian dude called Charlie. Like in the Vietnam. <laughs> Just like the movies, money. Hey, you ready? Sure, let's do this. Nothing like selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Not much. Let's do this. You got the heroin, right? Right? Come on, let's do this quickly. But you got the heroin, correct? You're carrying it, correct? I mean, it's a simple question. What's wrong with you? You're being fucking weird. <laughs> Not weird, man. I just want to know if you're carrying the stuff, right? You ain't right, friend. No, Come no, on, no, let's no. get out of here. LCPD! Freeze, motherfucker! I said freeze! Oh, they're gonna expect us to go out the front. Okay. Okay. We're gonna hit up the roof. You clear out the floor above first, money. Everybody, get down and stay calm! Evacuate the area immediately! Fuck! Fall back! Fall back! Get I've been Fucking shot! God. Please call an ambulance! These ones won't be causing no trouble. We move! Up! Up! Keep moving! Put Don't your hands in the air! Don't you fuck with me! You should not have engaged with me. I got rid of these guys. Let's go! This some serious FIB shit! Oh, geez, stay close! Follow me! Pop these dudes! They got the You're glad you messed with me! Bless! Follow the money!
shit, man. I'd have fucking died instead of being caught by them feds. You take a bed on a heroin beef, you ain't seeing life for a long time. You rotting up in that shit. Yeah? A future in a max security pen ain't no future at all. You forget about them cats that do that sort of time. And if your friends on the inside? My man's Dwayne Forge is inside on a crack beef. He showed me some shit back in the day, but shit. When he gets out, if he ever does, it won't be the same world. What's different since this guy's been doing his bid? Shit changed. There'll be more to it than the crack tip nowadays. There'll be the smack tip, the rap game, X, chronic, meth, shit. I'm looking into expanding my horizons. Yeah? For sure. Reach for the stars and all that shit. I don't see why a young kid from the hood can't make something out of himself. Street cats like me just get labeled as hips and pushes and stick up on but you are a drug pusher. That's just what I'm doing to get out of the ghetto. I don't see it as dealing drugs. Drugs is just one arm of my business. I'm buying and selling that shit like any commodity on the trading floor. Only this commodity is illegal. Yeah, but Playboy is going legitimate. Now, I want to be one of them developer cats. Build me some skyscrapers and see my name in big gold letters. Yeah, I thought you would want to build schools or something. Help young black men get out of the ghetto. Shit, that'll come. Gotta get me successful first. Yo, Nico, chill the fuck out! Here we be, money. I'll hit you up when I need your ass. Elizabeth, things didn't go so good. The contact was... You see, I know. All right, I bet you're gonna rock that look, bro. This is great news, Nico. I got the insurance money for the cab depot burning down. This stupid bastard thought it was an electrical fire, not arson. Maybe it was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. I put the money into another cab depot. Bellic Enterprises is up and running again. Next up, floating on the bar sack. I'll give you shares, NB, later on. Spill shit on the computers.
Hope the internet is worth it. Hey, man, me. Let us go drinking. I'm sorry, cousin, but I must keep my senses sharp at the moment. Sure, cousin. Call me when you have a moment. She pays good, man. You know her? Yeah, man, I know her, Nico. Even bad man scared of that girl. Eh? Should I not be doing business with her? No, nah, man. She's a real good business woman in the Just don't get on her wrong side. See? Later on, me call you. Nice time is mine to you. Hey, are you my date? Thank God. You never know who's going to turn up when you've met someone online. Yeah, all sorts of sickos can use the internet. You have to be careful. I'm Nico. So, Nico, what do you do? I do a lot of things. What's your job? 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 Everyone's talking about this job guy. I haven't met him and I don't want to. Mr. Job sounds like an asshole. Really? What type of man do you want to meet? One with a lot of money. Do you know Gay Tony? Runs Hercules Amazing at Nine? I'll tell you a secret. He pretends to have the dollars, but he is broke as hell. The loser. If there is one thing that I hate more than fat people and cripples, it is poor guys. Is that why you borrow money that you can't pay back? What are you talking about? How the fuck do you know who I pay and don't pay back? Fuck you, bitch. You ain't Miss Thang. You can't tell me shit about who I am. I'm just here to do a job. People in this world need to work. And my work is getting rid of you. I wouldn't fuck a scummy immigrant like you anyway. We have a on a civilian in West Bowes Beach. Get back, my friends! Murderer! He's on foot. I have him. Oh, you run, but you can't hide. Subject last seen in West Bowes.
think we'll be seeing each other again. I don't think you'll be seeing anyone. Picky, you're an animal. Anyway, your profile's still up there, bro. There's all sorts of crazy pictures on that site you can get into. Real freaks, you know? I'd be getting involved with some of that internet dating shit, but uh, I only date models, you know? Or VIPs who could be models. Not many of them online, yeah? Catch you later, big guy. Later. We're going to San Quentin Avenue. You got it. Here we are, man. End of the line. Many Escuela combines a powerful How? urban masculinity with a lighter, lighter side. side. Here, shortly after cleaning up five blocks, he teaches, teaches a group, group of... Uh, Yo, man, you made me look gay, man. I warned you, bro. What? No, you don't look gay. You look a little metrosexual or something. Metro's good. It's good. Man, who the hell ever heard of a metrosexual ex-gangster, man? I'm a lord, man, not a lady. This show is gonna make me famous. You are gonna be famous. Shit. Yo, Nico, man, what am I supposed to do here, man? I got this film genius here making me look like a transsexual or something on TV, and now some punks been talking all kinds of shit, too. What punks? Man, bitches I used to roll with, guys caught up in the game, punks in too deep, man. Yo, I tried, man. I tried to be a good guy. I said I'm reformed, man. But I'm pure ghetto, man. And this show's garbage. Oh, come on. We don't have to kill a shot, what? man. Jeez. We need to go bust somebody, man. Uh... Do what you want, as long as it doesn't involve me. Hey, yo, man, we're brethren, right? Give it up, man. All right, man, yo, listen, can you shut these punks up for me, please? Where are they? They're gonna be coming in on the L train, man, from Algonquin to Dukes, man. Hey, I owe you, man. I owe you big time. Okay. You see that, man? You see that, man? Yo, that is streets right there, man. Not none of this shit. Got me dancing in skirts with people in the neighborhood. Man, what the fuck is that, man?
You don't need to worry about people talking garbage no more. Yeah, you're pure ghetto, man. Just like me, kid. I'm gonna thank you in all my acceptance speeches, man, for real. Hey, Brucey, what's up? Hey, Nico B. Come here, show me the love man whoa, hug enough, time. Whoa, enough, all right? Whoa, whoa, what are we about here, you and me? I don't know. What are we about, boy? Oh, I'm an immigrant and a hired gun, and you're a steroid junkie, but we get along. No, not that stuff. That's superficial. I'm talking about the real shit. What? We're winners, man. Fucking winners. That's how we roll, brother. Bling, check. Bodies, check. <laughs> Paper, check. That's how we roll, bitches. The boss. Are you all right? Too much bullshit testosterone up the ass? Uh, fuck you. Fuck you, man. Hey, check this out. Lenny! Lenny! Is the bitch ready? Well, she's very shiny. Look at her and weep tears of pure gold. Motherfuckers. Come on now. Let's go show some people just how we roll. Yeah, all right, come on, get in. Come on, start you! Shit. Pure gold, eh, big man? <laughs> Lenny, you're a fucking asshole. What is this? What is this? You tune to yourself! <laughs> well, what should I do? I mean, I need a flashy car. People are gonna think I'm a no-nut bullshitter if I fail to deliver here. How about Steve's car? Yes. I'll call him on the way. Nico, can you drive us to Freetown Avenue and Willis? Yeah. Come on. Let's roll, bitches! Woo! Come on, Nikki, we need some wheels. Nico, man, excuse me, but I gotta make this call to tell this guy we're borrowing his car. Boy, how's tricks? No, man, you, you could spot me. <laughs> yeah. For sure. All right, uh, listen, man. All no, right, listen, me. Me and my ice cold friend Nico gotta borrow your car. No, no, no. The other one. Well, of course it'll be cool. What? It's outside? Great! Love you, man! He's fine with us taking it? We won't have an incident like the last time I got the car for you? No way, man! That, that was a one-time only, baby! Me and Stevie are tight! Okay, tighter than that! Tighter than... Shit, I was gonna say my hands, but I think you know that nothing's tighter than this shit! Yeah! Wanna feel? Mm. Thanks, but uh, I got my hands full. God, this is exactly the type of shit you and me should be doing. Cruising for bitches, destroying the town. You and me could be doing some serious damage, like like a nuclear bomb up in this shit. But, but, but a sexy bomb, you know? A bomb that only affects girls with D-cups, tight asses, blonde hair, no cellulite, and tan. Yeah! Right. Uh, I don't know if I get your meaning, but uh, we can hang out sometime. Driving? No way, man. I'm just here to look good. Me and you are cruising together. That's how we roll. Passenger side, flexing the guns, scoping the chicks, flashing the bling, pumping the sounds, riding shotgun while my boy Nico. Here we be. You ready to feel the cheese? Whoa! The skin looks really rough, man. You had some help? A little, a little botulism special there? I like that, homie. You want a shot when we get back? I'm fine. Boy, tunes these things like.
like they're fucking pianos, man. Pitch perfect. Touches up here. Intense. Intense. I fucking love you, man. Number one. Good driving. How do I look? Pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. Take me back to my apartment, man. I'm feeling jacked. I want to hit the weights now. You know what, Nico? You can keep this car. You earned it. And I can't have my boy rolling in anything but serious, genetically different winter style, you know? I thought it belonged to Steve. Fuck Steve! You are the man, man! You are number one! You won this shit anyway! I'll give Steve the bitch! The bitch don't work too good. Don't worry about that. Brucey has the magic fingers. They only touch prime engines, hot models, no cellulite. Okay, VIP only. Read my lips. I'm a winner. And when they touch... Shit! They work some serious magic, bro! What is it that you do, Brucey? Are you a mechanic? I don't get it. I'm a businessman! An entrepreneur! Nikki, I feel like we really bonded back there. I'm close to you, man. You let me inside. You, you, you let your armor down, you know? We had a moment, man. Call me, and we'll hang. Sure we did. What's up, money? Hey. Come on. Ladies, give me a few minutes. Business calls. <laughs> this is my time. Look at it. All them tiny ants down there. Man, shit is crazy. So I guess you do okay. Yeah, okay. But uh, what about you? What motivates you. Hmm. Well, I need money. This pays. I can do it. I don't care if I live or die. And I'm looking for someone. Someone special? Yeah, you could say that. So, why do you need me? Well, I'm always looking for good guys. Build an army. But in my work, the people change. Money changes people, not me. I'm still a hustler from these streets. And I heard good things about you. Okay. But I'm warning you. I'm not low budget. <laughs> Do I look like I live low budget, dog? Yo, player! <laughs> Fuck you want. There's someone here for you. Dwayne or some shit, I don't know. 
motherfucker got out? Damn! My dude! What's up, son? What's going down? You didn't tell me you was getting out? Man, I, I would've laid on a party, got some freaks out. She. I called. A couple of times. Man, hey, Dwayne, uh, this is Nico. Hey. Nico Dwayne Ford. Taught me everything I know. Psh, not everything. So, hey, man, where are you staying? Do you need some money? What's the plan? What you mean, what's the plan? Pick up where we left off. I'm out, I'm back. We keep on rolling. You say we? Yeah, we. Unless you too fine. What, your silk sheet? Fancy dress wearing life too big for me now? Oh, hey, now, I ain't saying that. You know what's mine is yours. You need help, just holler. Hell, this Slavic motherfucker ain't any good. He can help you. Hey, you know I do anything I can. Uh, but right now, we gotta roll. Just give me one second. Ain't folk quick to forget. Hmm. Some folk. Yeah, that's the truth. Where did you get out from? Preschool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dwayne, we got a roll. Please make yourself at home. Hell, this is your home. This jet money. Motherfucker must think I'm an idiot. We go into Castle Gardens. There's an alley we want to hit up just off the South Parkway. All right. You heard of Yusef Amir? Big real estate developer? I don't know. I've heard a lot of names since I got here. This guy's a big developer. Are you and him having meetings about how to run the city? Not yet. But I got an idea about how me and him could be friendly. Some Italian dudes shut down his building site on some union bullshit. They all up in the place, strapped to their fronts with hard hats on and shit. Won't let nobody get near. What are you suggesting we do about it? You gonna go in there and get them mafia types off the site. In the meantime, I'm gonna tell Yusuf how good we've been to him. That cat and me is gonna be tied as two cellmates on lockdown after this. What's in it for me? I'll give you what you after. Cold, hard cash. That's what you're chasing, right? Amongst other things. I don't know how good your plan is, though, Playboy. If I get rid of the guys on the site, then won't there be more? If it's a union problem, doesn't that make it bigger than a few guys with guns? Shit. Union is just another word for mafia. These cats is looking to squeeze our boy Amir for dollars just because he ain't from here. When we fuck they people up, they'll realize that he ain't a cat to be messed with, and they'll back off, okay? Shit. Yusef is from Dubai. He's an African, and he's coming to Liberty City to make it big. It's my duty to watch this cat's back. My ancestors came from Africa. Now he's coming out a bit later. Me and him could be cousin shit. I think you might want to look at the map, Playboy. Dubai isn't in Africa. Shit, it all the same. Africa, America, Dubai. It don't matter. We're brothers. Spiritually, I mean. And that's the important bit. I left some heat for you in that car, money. You're gonna be strapped. Sniper rifles, grenades, all that shit. Yo, there's three lookout cats making sure no one makes move on the site. You best take them out with the rifle before you hit up the rest of them. I'm gonna get into position where I can see all the shit going down. If you can take out the main cats, then the rest of them shouldn't be a problem. When you in there, I'll give you the lowdown on where these main cats is at. You might be better seeing the lookouts from up here too, money. Shit, I needed to find a cat like you. A badass motherfucker who ain't afraid to take fools down. Yeah, well, I need money, so you're in luck. You're gonna kick some ass down there, boy. I'm backing you up.
That all them lookouts gone, money. Get in there and free up the site. Later on. If you can't see anything else from up here, you'll see this. This is getting awkward. Talk about the slow lift. to live.
I got rid of all the union problems on this site. As you can see, this place is going to need a cleanup before any workers come in. You the money, son. You says PA won't put me through to the cat. But when they hear about this shit, they are gonna start listening to Playboy. I appreciate what you're doing for me. There be so many fake cats out there. You remember my man, Dwayne? Sure, just got out of the pen. Old friends aren't paying him no mind. Yeah, that's what he thinks. He got friends all over the shop, but he living in the past. Now, I need you to go over to the Governor Greg Johnson Project over in North. He holding up there and needs help with some shit. You assist this broke ass? I'll send some paper your way. I owe that fool. Can't pay back a biatch. Peace out, man. you. You alone? Yeah, how you doing? Fucking great. What you think? Yeah, it's hard living with the past, huh? Yeah, especially when the president's turned into an asshole. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Nobody wants to roll with me no more. It's like I'm tainted. What do you mean? Playboy don't want to hang no more. He pays for you to come over instead. My girlfriend, the love of my fucking life. Man, I was pulling moves in the joint so this bitch could pay rent. Now she won't answer the phone. Man, I gave her everything when I was inside. Cars, houses, apartments, bank accounts, everything. <clears throat> I heard she hanging with Javon now. Who? Some punk who fucking talked. Swears he wasn't involved in me going down, but I knew. I knew his ass was lying. Now motherfuckers fucking my girl? Mm. For real? Shit is fucked up, man. Sometimes I just wanna end this shit. Just bam. But I ain't there yet. Mm-mm, not quite. Listen, why don't you go talk to her? Psh, ain't shit to say. Then I'll go speak to both of them. They'll ask for your money back, and if they don't agree, I'll make them. Where did they hang out? At some arcade in Chinatown. Uh, look, man, don't bother. No, I'll bother. I'm getting paid. And besides, you remind me of me. Uh-huh.
Hey, are you the two snakes who played Dwayne Forge when he was in the joint? He wants his money. What? Dwayne must have finished his bid. Shit. He gonna be mad angry. Run! Run while you still can! Wayne don't need to worry about having that girl's blood on his hands on top of everything else. Got your money. Why don't you meet me at Cluckingdale so I can give it to you? Great. Thanks, man. See you soon. collected on that debt for you. They paid up? Guess my name still means something out there. People are still scared of me. They are. I got rid of Javon for you, but I let your ex go. That fool Charisse, she just couldn't help herself. She always told me she'd burn me good. Guess I should've listened. Happy she ain't dead, though. She just an idiot. Peace, man. What's up, money? Not much. How are you? Chilling. It's all good. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. Uh, give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. Some motherfucker's been calling me a phony, calling me a snitch, calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker, well, he's got some real loose lips. Not bad. So, you'll need this guy silenced? Yeah, he hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay, what does he look like? Well. Son ain't too diesel or nothing. And he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eye. He a hustler. Eh? <sighs> Homie ain't too brolic, but he ain't scrawny neither. And he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grimy too. So he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin B. Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels, and he stay fresh with the clean sneakers, know what I mean? And sometimes a bandana. Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus! Here, take this, head down there, take a photo, send it to me, and I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you.
That's why the penetrators ain't doing nothing this season. They got no one who can work the lanes, man. Shit, Lieutenant. That's something I was forced into from the necessity of my financial situation. My body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family. Yo, money. Moan the one in the black jacket. Smoke it. Sure. is dead. You the man, son. You money. You my ice cold Slavic killer. See you soon. anything I can do. Mira, I'm trying to come back here. There ain't no refunds on left as is. I got a piece back here. It ain't worth it. If you're looking to get some wood, you're gonna have to wait. Jesus test drives all the new bitches.
Javier! Bitch, you don't get it. It's Javier. It's pronounced like an H. Javier. Yeah? What you mean, bitch? I won't have no bitches calling me bitch, bitch. Whatever, Yavs. You're an interesting conversationalist. Where's Jose, man? He's in the back, but he don't want to be troubled. You know how he needs to concentrate when he's counting up that money. Nobody's going to be partying up in your club anymore. Playboy ain't going to be happy. What do you mean? He's still in business with the gangsters that took over. So we're going to think fuck me, think fuck us. Right, Playboy's going to feel that shit. Sure thing, man. Nico, tell me you want you to shot up the strip club in Wuhan. You asked me to help out Dwayne. That's what I was doing. Help him out when it fucks up my business interest. Damn, son. That ain't cool. I did win your blood clot. I forgot to set me on a pussy wall. Yeah. You fucking reggae idiot bitch! You want you want blood clock cause I don't even bumble clock right here, you know. Stop speaking that gibberish. You fuck bumble clock pussy old girl. You know this? Shot in her bumble clock. Hey yo, hey, hey, don't hey, what's this. wrong? What's wrong? Jacob here. You know Jacob? Yes. Jacob tells me it wasn't him, but some people he introduced me to have ripped me off big time and put the heat on me. I know they all did. All right, all right, well, all right. And my fault to the rasta. And my blood well, clock. Hey. Hey. Don't come in on my face. All right. You better hope Nico can make this right for you then. Oh, what? Oh, we got a big fucking problem, Rasta. Nico, go do this fool's job for him. Yeah, I got it. Watch me now. See you later. Watch me now. This is scale fish. Imported straight from Bolivia, manito. Polvo puro. The best, man. You're in America now. The best everything gets made here. If the best stuff got made in Mexico or Colombia or wherever, why do you all run across the border? Tell me that.
I've got this stuff. You know where the heat is coming from? I think I'm getting closer now. But there's one more cat me have to speak to. Shit! Speaking of fucking cops, I think I have company. I gotta go. I lost the heat. Where are you? Cheers, fine. I'm with some buggers in the way. Get your know, Nico. Let's be some strange shit. Jacob, what are you talking about? You know, I think you're smoking too much. Yo, me think me know the heat I come from in a king. Hey, Nico. Hey, Jacob. What are you doing here? This is no place for you, Michelle. As it happens, it is. You see, Nico, I have been working for the government. I'm afraid it's my job to watch you. And now I have to ask you for the coke. This is a joke. Right? Please, please don't make this harder for me than it already is. Look, they're about to take down Elisabetta. I don't fucking believe this. Listen, I'm sorry it had to be this way, Nico. I'm really sorry. Hey, you know, you could have gone down too if you weren't so useful. You fucking bitch. Nico. Hold on. You mean to say you're going to let us off just like that? Not now, Guan? Well, my employers need the help of a guy like Nico. The office is in Algonquin. I'll call you. You know, as and when we need you. The Coke, please. 
shocking me. I have to tell Lisbeth so she now get her cocky in it. Yeah? Who are you? Can you remind me? That doesn't matter. You need to meet me outside the United Liberty Paper Building in Algonquin. It is very important that you be there. Goodbye. Hey, man, this is getting out of control. The police are all over me. I can feel them. So? 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 So I'm gonna go to prison for a long time. <laughs> so my life is over. Oh, God, all this work for nothing, man. Oh, being tough in a man's world. I guess I wasn't so tough, huh? Jorge turned state? Everyone's a rat! Not me. <laughs> Whatever! Open up, man! Who is it? It's the streets, man. Okay, hold on! All right, man. Oh. This is what Manny's oh. all about, man. Manny, 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 Manny! Now, word up, bitch! You better stop slinging that shit on my streets, yo! We don't want it anymore! Hey, OJ, you catching this? Rolling, what rolling! Is this, Manny, for fuck's the sake! The streets have spoken! Now leave my people alone! Are you Nico? What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, I am not in the mood for this right now! Well, he said he was going to bust the dealer. Can you help me clean this mess up? There's a doctor and broker who can help. Come on. Let's put him in my car. Got some bodies in here. I've heard you'll take care of them. Uh, natural causes? Of course. Seems like a bullet in the head is as natural as it gets in this town. They weren't sick, were they? No. Had a few problems with sick bodies. No one wants a liver if it's riddled with tumors, huh? Know what I mean? No. Shit. Looks like the bullet went right through this one's eye. And the price of eyes is through the roof at the moment. <sighs> Fine. Can I leave you with these or what? Sure. I'll have these organs out on the street in no time. They're yeah, gonna help a lot of folks. <sighs> He'd been trying to help the streets his whole life. Maybe he'll actually be doing it now. Doctor has that stuff. Good. One last thing to bother me. The heat is closing in, Nico. This particular party is ending. Let's get this crap moving, okay? 
Where to? Take me to Iron Street. Cool. I'll take the long way. Here we go. Tip, please. Look, I'm not in the business of caring about people's feelings, bud. Yeah? Boo fucking who? Hey. Hi. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. <sighs> you should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. <sighs> and, and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. Better than the creeps I normally date. But you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. In here. Salute? Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion, and you're not. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle, or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> in here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellique, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? If I be? If I be? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. And hey, welcome to America. Bascala Staradejava. Bushka. Take me to Iroquois Avenue, please. This is as far as I can go, okay? <laughs> Mr. Minkov? Anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his emails. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts.
There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa. Killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff, then call me. Sorry, lady. Rookie over here! Василий, спасибо, что пришел. Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Пос... Все, он меня дожидался. Пока, братан. Minkoff is dead. The country is safe. Not by a long shot, smart ass. Nothing is safe. No one is safe. Maybe something has been averted. Maybe delayed. I'll be in touch. Goodbye. Take me to Iron Street. Here we are, man. End of the line. Nico, I heard that Michelle was a cop or a fed or something. Is it true? I don't know what she is, but she was lying to us all along, and now I'm paying for it. Niska, there was always something funky about her. I'm real sorry. Come in, Nico. Aye. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One, you don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. And maybe I won't. Now, get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go! Hello. You're through to the Liberty City Emergency Services. 
Please use your touch tone keypad to select which specific service you require. Press 1 for pol- Hello, this is the LCPD. Where would you like us to send an officer? Uh, the triangle. An LCPD peacekeeper will be there as soon as possible, sir. I found this place. There are a bunch of guys hanging around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Dispose of them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the East. You better start doing me some favors soon. Serve your purpose? Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something good. Congratulations. <laughs> Goodbye.
been getting worried. Roman didn't get back at all last night. He likes to party. He stays out late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, he don't. Something ain't right. Where are you going, man? Take me to Iron Street. Hey, watch this. Holy shit. Hey, fuck, I got no short-term memory. <laughs> Here we are. It's a wrap. Come in. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's got to go, but I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. I must have gone invisible. Where you so, wanna go? We need to go to Union Drive East. On our way. Can't get you any closer, buddy. Yeah, baby, let's go. Nearly there. You're about to see a chopper taking off from Civilization Plus. We need to get hold of it. Follow it. Wait until it touches down. Then, when the passengers are out, get in and fly to the airport in Dukes. Okay, then.
Nothing! Thank you. We'll take it from here. My men have the shop. They're going to strip it down and put it back together. It should be ready for you when you need it. Why would I need it? The guy I told you about. The guy you need to eliminate. The only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye. How did the big real estate deal go? That cat ain't got no vision. He wants to shut down the site and shit. Make it a memorial to union workers who died in accident. And fuck you, Sephar Men. I got bigger problems. Come see me now. Why the hell are you in the middle of the damn street anyway? I'm robbing you. I don't want to kill you. My God! You must leave me alone. Sit back and enjoy the ride. So can you take me to Castle Tunnel? As soon as I finish, I'm going home to blow some haze and beat up the coochie. Shift your... I can't get you any closer than this.
where you followed? Hey, strange seeing you here, Officer McCreary. I told you to come here, fucking maggot. You did? Why? I know about you. Know what? I know enough, boy. Oh, what do you know, boy? I know you killed Mikhail Faustin. I know a group of Russians want you dead. I know you ain't no saint, boy. I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. <laughs> you think this is a town that can keep a secret? I really don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. You know that a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. That people ain't perfect, that life is a mess. Sure, everybody knows that. So, you look out for me, and I don't look out for you. <laughs> know what I mean? I think so. So there's a guy trying to blackmail me. Who? I don't know. Thinks he's getting paid, though. The guy's smart. He arranged to do the exchange by the Humboldt River off Silicon Street. Said to call him from the viewpoint there. Okay. Listen, I did what I did. <laughs> I made a mistake. That don't make me the devil. Now, obviously, I can't go, because then he gets a picture of me giving him money, and I'm admitting guilt. I ain't guilty of nothing other than being a man. To be honest, I don't really care one way or another. Well, I'm a good man. No doubt. Now call me when you get to the spot. I'm in the park. Now what? All right. This guy told me to bring the money there and call him. That means he's somewhere close and he's got a phone. I'm gonna text you his number. You've got to call him and keep a lookout for someone answering a phone. He won't be far. I'm calling about your exchange with McCreary. Okay, okay. Yeah? You better have my paper. I ain't, I ain't fucking, fucking around. around. I'm sure he's got your money. Oh, have you got the stuff wrong. he wants? Yeah, I got it. We're gonna make this shit happen. I don't mess around, you know. 
push me, and this shit is all over Weevil News. I got them on speed dial. Really? Yeah, and there's a lawyer called Tom Goldberg who's real interested. He's hungry for McGreary's blood and shit. Yeah. Good thing Francis is paying, then. Call me when this exchange is going down. I don't like all the talking. Here. Here. He's dead. Great. I can get rid of these now. I feel like a new man. Not many people get a second chance like this. It's my redemption. Your sins are absolved, I guess. Here we are. It's a wrap. Thank you very much. Nico, it's Patrick McCreary. You and me did some work for Elizabeth Torres together? You mean I saved your ass? Well, if I'd have known it was such a big deal to you, I would have asked you to let them kill me. Anyway, if you're in need of extra funds, I'm in need of a good man. Come over to Mama's on Savannah Avenue in Meadows Park. I'm always in need of money. See you there. What's up, money? Hey, man. <sighs> Business is tough. And I ain't a cold person. I, well, I mean, I am cold, but motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me, man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No, listen, now, I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man, and I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I got to have the money, man. Is all this? All this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck! The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, history <laughs> is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, 
Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you could hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. Now, I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I... I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cass been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me was too tight now. Said you disrespected him. Called him mad. He's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Ah. Uh, I don't like this conversation. Do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <coughs> now, I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's going to kill me, the motherfucker's going to die. Huh. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. Where can I take you? So we need to go to Kunzite Street. I know a fun way to go. Here we are. Oh, thank you. Jimmy, uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, Jimmy, sir. Let's you're undercover. You you as in deep. Hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch. Looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Oh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, oh, the motherfucker thinks he can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen, uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that ruin his life? Now, people don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I... He's got it all wrong. He's got but one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? <sighs> Some lawyer. This big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, Some... enough. Enough. I'm sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. He's gonna go to the DA with it. Use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah. So, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But, he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then, you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. 
You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh, get yourself a suit. Okay. I will email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man! Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does. shit on the computer. I've sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. Call when you hear about the interview. Them money? He never told me anything. I heard they took him to a warehouse off Mom Park and Bohan and Dr. Rio. I'll check it out. You've crossed the line, Dimitri. I got your message, Dimitri, you piece of shit. You're a dead man. A dead man. Before you die, I'm going to cut your face off. Then I'm going to hang it on my wall to remind me what a lying, cheating, treacherous scumbag looks like. Goodbye, friend. this year. It has been slow. I couldn't agree more. If you want to walk out of here, Slav, you're going to have to think about how you will pay your debt. A friend of mine, Dmitry Raskolov, he would pay a lot of money for your cousin. I'll get you the money, just not that way. I'm with you. <laughs> you're lying! You're in my sights now. Take my cousin, will you? Push me! Push me! I see a dead man. 
You will pay for what you've done! Shit! Hey, man! No place! I'm living here with Roman! That's it! Stay right there! Leave this and learn something! You will not harm my cousin! It is time! Lazis! No one fucks with my family! Who do you people think you are? I'm living here with Roman! Nico! Nico! I'm up here! Ah, motherfuckers! Nico Bellic. Thank you, cousin. You saved my life. We should get out of here. There's a car. Take me home, cousin. Roman. You have been gambling. I give you money. How are you in debt? There are cycles, cousin. You must lose a little to win a lot. Come on, my cards were not good. Roman! That man knew Dimitri. He was trying to make me give you up to him. I would never... Of course you would not. Dimitri has taken this too far. He wants you dead. Bohan is not safe. I I I'm going to get to some place in Algonquin. Are you okay? I'm used to taking these beatings, Nico. 
I almost expect it now. Wherever I go, there are people who want to kill me. Men who will kidnap me. I'll never marry Mallory. I won't be able to sleep with another college girl. There is a knife hanging over me. A clock is ticking. Man, this is out of control. I know. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to die. I don't want to die, man. Not like this. How would you like to die? Having a threesome on my hundredth birthday? I don't fucking know. I'm scared, you cold bastard. What are we going to do? I'm not cold. You're cold. All you care about is revenge and getting your own way. And all you care about is money and gambling it away on the internet. Oh, isn't America great? I get to sit in front of a computer and play Mr. Rich Man and get into debt with crooks. Okay, I messed up. I know I did. I thought things would be different. I, I don't understand this place so good. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Stop sitting in front of the computer gambling our money. Stop uh, getting into illegal card games. Stop spending all our money. Yes. Thank you. And stop thinking about the Russians. Men, we just need to disappear as far as they're concerned. Disappear! Okay, okay. But I want Florian and Darko. I need to know what happened. Give me that. Fine, but leave the Russians alone. I was not the one gambling in their private club. I didn't know! I give a guy a break! Okay, okay. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I have a nasty feeling I had a bit of an accident back there. And Nico. What? Thanks. Bellic, we need you. Now, the chopper is prepped and waiting off Bremer Road in Northwood. Your sometime accomplice Jacob is there. He's riding shotgun on this one. Jacob? The Rasta? Don't ask unnecessary questions. I want you to take out this guy's chopper. He was last spotted in Varsity Heights. No civilian casualties. Sorry about the smell, I just laid some gas in here. Here we are. It's a wrap. Yes, here's my man Nico. Hey, Jacob. Some serious firepower up in here. Rocket launcher, boom! Let's find him and get this over with. I don't like being in this man's pocket. Yeah, not my butter butter. There'll be the other chopper. Stick to him, Nico. We need to take him down there with no people. For a man who has asked me to kill a lot of men, this guy is really safety conscious. See, you got that government thing about him. I feel it great and good and thing. I have the feeling he don't want to be responsible for a helicopter crash in Middle Park. Show that. Yo, we on the star trucks and a helicopter. There's some real spy shit that he's is doing it up. Shows you that the people who need spy shit done get other people to do their dirty work. Same, Bridget. Everything crash.
shit, Jacob. You really gotta smoke that thing now. The secondary smoke doesn't exactly help my hand-eye coordination. And I'm paranoid enough with U.S. government on my ass. Whatever. Actually, just smoke it. Don't worry about the bridge, Jacob. I'm finally getting the hang of flying this thing. Show respect. The righteous rule, boy, amigo. Get close, my can take a shot. We shut down that chopper for you. You think I don't know that? You think I've been sitting around scratching my balls with my head up my ass? I'd be impressed if you had been. I appreciate your assistance, Pelik. You did a good thing today. Now it's my turn. I will try to find the man you're after. I will call when I have something. Give me one of those. About fucking time, pay me. Thanks a lot. You wanna stop, man? I want to go to Savimi. Here we are. That's uh, very kind of you. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. 
What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east. But we don't know what it is that they're bringing in, exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh, yeah. Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chaste European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. They would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Stick to me, man. Why don't they make these places easier to break into? This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here, 
while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. Well, the wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. 
Nico, come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day. Can I borrow your vehicle? You people are scum of the earth. Hey, where you going, man? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. You got it. Francis McCoy. Here we are, man. End of the line. I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. The smug bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business and get the files. So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking <laughs> Hood. Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, yeah. boy. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or are we gonna have to kill you? Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. Mafia controlled waste management plan? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pecorinos, man. 
We're working for them. Pecorino's a type of cheese. Pecorino's is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico. When Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader in my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too fucking far, Nico. inside and find this money. Hey, Becky! Don't get the money! Cover me, will you? I have seconds to live, buddy. Okay, kids, I got the can! Shit! Looks like we're not the only ones after it!
die, will ya? I don't know how my bookie's gonna be about wet notes. Swimming for a day? Sure, my boy. There's the boat just out there. I'll race you. ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Reviving the Angelotis don't figure out it was us, they ripped him off. I don't fucking worry about it. But this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. Here we are, man. End of the line. Lleva no listo. Cousin, I have bought us a present. You bought it or I did? Nico, I'm offended. I've got us an apartment in Algonquin. What did I say when you got here? Penthouse. Model on each arm. And you have paid for this place? It wasn't so long ago that your debts got you kidnapped by the Russian mob. That was a cold streak. Now I'm hot, cousin. Hotter than the models will be bedding. I can't lose! Roman, we have spoken about your gambling. Wait until you see the new place, NB. You will change your song. So what? I took on a little debt. Hiya. Welcome to the world of Versius. I've got one of those myself. Hope to see you very soon! Sorry, I won't go with that! Yeah, I know you're not! I thought I was doing that. I hear you need work. I want to throw your bone, Nikki. Come over to Drusilla's in Little Italy. We'll have a little sit down. Don't worry about it. 
You've got enough on your plate looking after Roman. See you soon. Table for one? We got a beautiful bacala saddle. I'm here for, for someone. Girl. I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. Ah, <laughs> hey! <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. Let's see how we do. So anyways, I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the videos. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you're kidding, I'll pay double. Good. But, you mess up, bad things are gonna happen. You know what apartment Teddy Benavides is in? No sé, I don't know no Teddy's. You sure about that? You want the last thing to come out of your mouth to be a lie? Shit, man. He's up on the top floor, apartment 151K. You have to walk the last few floors. Elevator don't go up there, they're fixing it up. T-Dog, someone's coming up. 
Don't know how, but he knows where your apartment is. There he is! There's the asshole! This is the end of the day, asshole! Sweet dreams, cocksucker! It's you on me! You're going to die, friend! No fuck against the better of me! Shit! Fuck! My leg! No way I'm fucked up, son! You're dead, friend! So many you Killing me only get you killed, man. Fuck is trying to take us out. Too slow, my mouth! Uh. What's this about, pendejo? You owe Ray Bocino a lot of money. You should have paid. Those putos too old. They're finished, fool. The city don't belong to them no more. I wouldn't pay them shit. Fuck you! <laughs> Ted is dead. We talking about? Hey, who's he? Sorry to hear about your loss. I'll be in touch, Nikki. Nico, it's Dimitri. I have nothing to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up though before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun. I would have had with Roman, believe me. Nick, 
Rico, man. I'm going crazy. Since I got out, things just don't make no sense. If things ever made sense? They made sense inside. Three meals a day, time in the yard, lockdown at eight. Things out here is mad crazy. Tell me about it. On the down low, I think Playboy wants me dead. Might just let him do put a cap in my dome. End it all. That what you want? Seriously? Nah, fuck that shit. I ain't ready to go out yet. I need you to get him for me. I can't do it myself. It. He was my boy back in the day. That's something I won't be able to forget. You seem like you got my back, Nico. I'll be out on this one, dog. I'll stick by you till the end. Take him out for me. That's a pretty heavy request, Dwayne. Playboy was your best friend. And he's always been straight with me, more or less. I'll have to think about it. How's it going, man? Don't shoot at me now! See you later! Uh, it's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Come in, I'll buzz you through. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, sir. Mr. Bellic, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Bellic has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellick? Sure. Mr. Goldberg is such a saint. He teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. Do you think he'll like me? He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't bite. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience. Standing up. Assertive move. Whoa, 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 Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if you'd never hurt anyone. <laughs> I was never here, you understand? Let's go, friend. on the way. Away from me. Dispatch the air unit from City Hall. 
Don't make me come after you. Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silenced Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears. A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. Go, to Savannah. This is it, my compadre. We're here. There he is, Nico Bellic. Nico. <sighs> These are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers. The two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes. It's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in Brett Halfwit? <coughs> <laughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family, or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Ah! 
some wheels, man. Nico, we're gonna need a car. Let's do this. Fuck off. Here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C. 4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Mackie. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. This is it, boys. Moment of truth. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you's gonna get is a bullet to the heart! Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But sir... You too! Okay, okay. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis, but this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people, fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you, take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. We told you not to oh. fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! Eyes on the floor, people!
I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. dinner when I was going to Ireland. That was a lifetime ago. Belfast! 
to get in my way! Requesting immediate backup! You really don't want to giving up this money! Trap us in this tunnel! I'm under heavy fire, boy! Someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. Here are the cops!
Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Jerry, how's it going? Good. Hey, Got a little business opportunity I need your help with. Come and see me at my Mars house. Use the back entrance. We're all about conflict resolution in here, pal. Easy. Well, you've been spending time with the rest of my family. I figured you may as well complete the set. You remember my brother Derek? Came along on the bank job? Sure. He's in a bad way. Last I heard, he was spending his hours in some park in Actor. Go down and check on him. Me and Gerald will cover any expenses incurred. All right, man. I'll go find him. Where you wanna go, Hefe? So we need to go to Conside Street. Nobody knows this city better than me. This is it, my compadre. We're here. Thanks a lot. Sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about packing. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know what's funny? But I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good and no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better. By any means necessary. And you? What do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen. I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty is sin. He is sin. <laughs> but it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that <laughs> evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two Gs. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vox site and call me. Five G's. I 
need your car, mister. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. Going up there would be a dumb play. I'm telling you that. Yeah, sure, man. You come to the wrong project, fool, and you're gonna pay for it. Hey, it's getting there, huh? You. Stop crying and stay down. Let's run this jump, fam. One of us got. Fuck with me! Finish, gangster. Get the move! Send him back to the essence! I ain't He's playing! Surrounded by 360 like degrees! Yo, yo, man, you got me killed. I surrender. You wouldn't kill an unarmed man, would you? This isn't my choice. The police want you dead. Yo, it's that rat cop McCreary, ain't it? You don't like a younger brother with ambition. Tell you what, I'll reform. I get out the game, get a, get a GED or some shit. Make something of my life. Sorry.
think I was a joke? tried to convince me to let him go. Said he'd get out of town. I finished him anyway. Going blue? You shouldn't trust a word that comes out of that skunk's mouth. The streets are a little bit cleaner now he's gone. One percent. All we can hope for. Whatever you say. They don't look much cleaner from where I'm standing. Where are you going, man? I want to go to Union Drive West. Blow some haze and beat up the coochie. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the Fed. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk, on account of you being brain dead <laughs> and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cunt dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You're cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call.
Tank drivers are staying on their phone. I found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. My heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. Who are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper. The all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger. We've got a fire on this shot. Nico, Ray, take a seat. Thank you. So, you took care of that thing? Yes. I appreciate that. Hey, no, nope. I look after my friends. I got a lot of friends, important friends. Jimmy Pegorino is a personal friend of mine, more or less. <coughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. My God, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. You've been what? <coughs> what are you, a fucking idiot? White trash motherfucker, what is wrong with you? Give me a break, okay? I feel like death. Hey, hey, hey! What? It's because I care. You know that. Yeah, I know that. Now, speaking of the ice. Yeah, they got it. They, they left it where you said. That's why I came over here. Can I get a goddamn coffee yeah, here? Yeah, you look like you could really use some goddamn caffeine. I'm fucking coming down, asshole. I feel like death. Fine, whatever. Uh, Nico, need you to go collect some garbage for me. Garbage? Yeah, you wanted a career in waste disposal, now you got one. <clears throat> Can I get a goddamn oh, coffee over no. here? What kind of garbage? Garbage with a lot of ice Today? in it. Today? Go over to F between Columbus and Denver. There'll be a truck waiting there. Three guys. Good guys. Friends of mine. Main guy's name is Luca. Go. Okay. <coughs> hey, Sugar. <coughs> Come here. All oh, this'll be over soon. You gotta stop me smoking this stuff, Ray. I'm fucking killing myself. Luca? Yeah, you Nico? This is Tuna Fish and Johnny Spaz. Tuna, Johnny, Nico. Hey. So, we're all friends now. All right, Tuna, John Boy, you got the threads. Get in the back and get the trash. Come on, let's go. Nico, here's your gear. You're driving. That cool? Let's roll.
first pickup's in Chinatown. Let's head it. So someone's been throwing out the load of diamonds? You could say that. Ray got that tweaker chick of his, the bike abroad. You met her? Yeah, she's pretty strung out. Ray got her to get her friends to steal the ice off of some club owner guy. Her friends are the lost biker gang. I think I worked with a member of that gang up on Bohan. He was called Johnny or uh, something. Tuna, this is it. Grab the bag. Can you open up the back, Nikki? Got it, let's go. Next one's on 8th Street. Move out, Nikki. These bikers get so fucked on meth that they threw the ice away? Nah, it seems his club owners got more connections than a subway line. He's in with the Ancelottis, the Dominicans up in Northwood, everybody. Ray came up with this plan to keep a bit of distance between us and the robbery. The bikers is taking the heat for this shit. This ain't the easiest way to pick this shit up. Even if we don't want to attract any attention. Yeah, me and Tuna was saying that before you got here. You were saying that there's a lot of opportunities for this to go wrong. The bank could split, the diamonds could go missing real easy. That's why we're going to be extra careful, right? We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Of course not. You know how pissed Ray would get if he found out some diamonds were missing? He has a temper? Are you fucking kidding me? The manager of one of his waste depots was holding out on profits a couple years back. Ray fed him to a dump truck. There was this point where the sounds of his screams stopped, and all you could hear was his bones crushing. Then the pop of his skull going. I nearly lost my lunch. <laughs> this is the other one, Tona. Grab it. Open up the back, will ya? Shit, man, looks like we got company. Crap! Someone's got wise to us. Let's get the hell out of here. Drive the fish market south. That hook ain't gonna be following us no more. Let's get the ice back. You're done good, Nikki. This is it. You got us here, Nikki. Good driving, Nikki. I thought I was gonna be checking out for sure. How'd they find us? I thought that we went to all this trouble so no one would know. I don't know. These diamonds are serious. Anyone who heard of them would want them. I ain't surprised we get a bit of attention. You want me to take the ice to Ray then? Nah, me and Tony will look after them. Sort them out from the trash. I sure hope we ain't lost any on the route. Things got shaken up pretty good back there. They sure did, Luca. Here's hoping we can find them all. See you around, Nikki. Hmm. 
Luca and his crew have got the stuff, Ray. It's all in the back of the truck. Will you keep an eye on them? They didn't pull nothing? I don't know, Ray. You don't trust them, then weigh the ice. And catch you around. I'm robbing you. Don't freak out. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, I'll eat you good, baby. Ah! Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? I want to go to Pyrite Street. Yo, money. Don't be trifling with me. You made a decision. You're going to fix this Dwayne problem of ours, yeah? Hey, it ain't our problem, playboy. It's yours. That said, I know what I'm going to do. That right. You cold, here. Nico. Hey, uh, excuse me. Boy X, <laughs> yo, Whitey's back. Yo, what you doing? You got rid of Dwayne already? <laughs> I thought the old dog would have put up more of a fight. <laughs> I didn't kill Dwayne. Well, what you doing back here then? Step to it, motherfucker. Well, I was thinking that maybe Dwayne is not the problem. Maybe it's you. Motherfucker. You think you can touch this shit? You think I got here by letting little bitches like you fuck with me? I own you! Nobody owns me! Ah! Let's you move in, man! Devil, 360 degrees! War's on! Find some cover! Very cool. I thought you was money. You a low rate bitch. You're a bad joke, Playboy. Nico, not such a big man now, are you? Get this motherfucker! What? Uh, uh, man, it's a harder man, son. You shouldn't have asked me to kill Dwayne, Playboy. You the world, gangster. You don't control this shit. I took this shit to the next level. Cats like you just can't accept that. You didn't change the game. The game changed you. 
Dwayne, I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You're right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed to Playboy's fancy silk she off. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah. It'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe he'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. Yeah, 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 sure, Phil, sure. Hey, Phil. Listen, you know me, and I know you. Nah, I didn't mean nothing by it. Hey, take it easy. Oh, Phil, take it easy. And hey, listen, tell Jimmy I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We got a problem. Who? You and me? Yeah. I got two options. Option one, you rip me off. Option two, Luca and his buddies ripped this bolt off. Hey, hey! I left them with the stuff to bring to you as instructed. Maybe you're in on it. Maybe I am. But if you thought that, I wouldn't be standing here right now. You ain't as dumb as you look. <laughs> Luca hangs out in Castle Gardens. Go see him, go get my stuff back so everyone can get paid. Now. Right. Luca, I need that ice back. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. I gave every one of those diamonds to Ray. Now, we all know that that's not true. Fuck you, you cabbage-eating prick. Who says it weren't you that made off with them? That's what I'm telling Ray. The game's up, boys. We're out of here.
Nowhere to go, motherfucker. You're surrounded. You're making things real hard on yourself. Going to find you, Luca. You and me, we could go to Venturis. No one's ever gonna find us. You gotta make a play for yourself. Jesus! I told you not to annoy me. I took out Lucas' crew, and I got your diamonds. What do you mean you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. Whatever. They're dead, and I've got the stuff. You want to get your hands on it? Come meet me at the bridge in Middle Park. Save you in the back, huh? Thanks for the advice. Yeah, baby, I'll be there in a little bit. All right, listen, why don't you wear that pink thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, the pink thing with the little feathers on the, uh... <whistles> yeah. I gotta go, I gotta go. Nico, come on in. Okay. Where the fuck have you been? Sorry, you know how it is. I know how it is! Yeah, I know how it is sitting around with two million dollars worth of stolen ice waiting to get jumped, if that's what you mean, brains. Were you followed? No. I mean, I don't think so. This town's full of rats, so who knows? What's going on? What's so urgent? I need you to offload this ice for me. So what you going to do for me? What do you mean, what am I going to do for you? I look after you. I don't need looking after. I need help finding someone. I said I got connections. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do is not good enough. I want your word that you'll find him. Hey! I said I'll look after you. Hey, you know what? It's cool. Get someone else. I'll see you later. Oh, whoa, whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? No! no! I keep doing these favors for you, and you pay shit! No, I need this from you. I guarantee that you will find this man. And I know he's in the city. So either you give me your word or go fuck yourself! I'm sick of this shit! Fine! Fine, you got it. You want my word? You got my word. Good. Who is he? Florian Kravich. <laughs> Florian fucking Kravich? That's right! <laughs> okay. Okay. You have my word. In the meantime, head over to the Libertonian. 
They're gonna meet that guy named Johnny, and the two of you are gonna exchange the diamonds with a guy named Isaac. Then, you give Johnny half the money, the rest you bring back to me. What's he doing there? He's waiting to get paid. It'll be good. Keep things on a level. People always behave better with company. Sure. Much better getting shot by two guys than one. Is this the merchandise? No, it's my lunch. Funny. Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before, yeah? Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precautions. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay, let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course, no problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Rest of you motherfuckers wanna die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on!
didn't go so good, Ray. Johnny's got the cash. I don't know who has the diamonds. Shit! That biker piece of crap better not be pulling nothing. Come back and see me. You sure this I'm guy's all right? I'm telling you, the guy's You good. checked him out? Hey, here he is right here. Phil Nico. Nico Phil. So you're the guy who got jumped for a couple of million? Yeah. You gonna pop me for it? <laughs> no, I've heard good things. Some odd friends, but you know. What are you gonna do? You're right. I've been keeping bad company. Oh, you mean this guy? He's okay. Well, he pays up, and uh, he ain't gone states yet. Very funny, ha uh ha. -huh. Listen, we got a lot of missing money, and we got a problem with these fucking bikers. And I've got the problem finding someone. Yeah, I nearly got something on that. So we sent some of our boys after the money. Maybe you can deal with the bikers. Calm them down. They're causing trouble on the corner of Vauxite and Exeter. Sure. Otherwise, you and Raymond here got a serious problem. The boss has got to get paid. Even when people forget to tell them about things they're working on. I right, don't bust my balls. What's the point of talking about things unless they become real? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you're sure, Phil. You of all people. Now, what the hell does that mean? Nothing. I mean, come on. You're a yeah, guy who yeah, knows what's yeah, what, yeah, right, yeah, Phil? Yeah, Take okay. it easy. something that belonged to my employers. Shit! That's the cocksucker that Johnny ripped off for the diamond loot. Hey, why don't we see if he can keep up with some real American bikers? Hey, let's do this! Couldn't they make this easy?
I got rid of those bikers for you. Johnny wasn't there, though. The other guys are meant to be taking care of him. Don't worry about it, Nicky. Hey, Nicky. You've been a decent earner for me, and I appreciate that. I'm throwing you a bone. What are you waiting for? Throw it. There's some photo called Talbot. Talbot Daniels over in the Triangle. He's into me for about 10 Gs, and he says he might know something about Florian Kravich. Florian? Your days of searching are over, my friend. This guy should point you in the right direction. Hey, Roman. Can you do me a favor? Anything for you, cousin. Just name it. You want some women? I met this... He's not that. I'm coming to collect you from the apartment. Wait for me there. understand what you are there implying. you are I have found Florian Kravich there's a man called Talbot Daniels who will lead us to him Talbot I know him from some of the card games I play so we're finally going to kill Florian Kravich You know, if this fucks up, the bad shit's coming down on my head. What do you mean? I mean you fuck up and I take the shit. You kill the wrong guy and his friends will fuck with me. They get to you. I didn't have no scars until you arrived. Now I am practically chopping board I have so many cuts on me. You are a rich chopping board. I worry for you, NB. Sometimes you just gotta let the hate go. You really going to feel better once Florian is dead? Soon, we will find out. There he is. Let's go talk to him. He's always at the games being held around Algonquin. Not too good, either. I don't think I've seen him win a hand. Hey! I hear you know Florian Kravich. Where is he? Florian Kravich? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been head-to-head -head with this guy a few times, NB. I know his tells. He's lying. Ronan? What's this about? He doesn't act well under pressure, NB. Beat him a little. All right already. There's a guy I know, likes to be called Floyd Kravick at, um, certain moments, lives up town somewhere. Show me. there yet. Okay, um, if I'm right, Bernie's place is somewhere uptown, okay? It's straight, I think. Easy there, man. You need to go slow if I'm gonna be able to get you there. 
Uh, um, maybe right? Let me retrace my steps then. Straight ahead. Ease up a little, big fella. I can't see when you're going that fast. Go left here. Okay, I think you should maybe turn right. Stay on this street. Hey, slow down. I can't see the turns. Maybe if you, um, took a left here. Go right. This is it. This is Bernie's place. Are you going to kill him? When I'm done with Florian, he will be begging to die. That is the most your friend can look forward to. Get out of here now. You've done your job. Nico, be calm. Be calm! Fuck! Calm! <sighs> Florian! On the sun's book, David, Durka Gior! Ot Vori! Florian! I've come for you, Florian. Oh! Go away! Florian, yes, it toti. Nico, what the hell are you doing here? What happened to you? Oh, I started working out. You know, toned up the. Uh... Florian, you used to work in the abattoir. Oh, don't remind me. Roman, you put on a few vanity pounds. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Why did you kick my door down? I've come uh, to ask you some questions. It wasn't you, was it? What was it, me? Who set us up? It was you or Darko. I thought it must be him. Oh, my God. You think it was me? That's why you are here. You've come to kill me. Well, screw you, Nico Bellic and fatty Roman. It wasn't me, it wasn't. I wouldn't do that. <sighs> Can we stop with the fat jokes, Florian? It's Bernie now. After I came here, I wanted a complete change, so I became Bernie Crane. I'm sorry about the fat thing. You're still kind of cute. <laughs> Gee, thanks. What are you doing here? Well, I'm a lifestyle coach, and I teach an aerobics class, and I'm in love. He's married. It's so doomed. And he's in politics. He's the deputy mayor. <laughs> Bryce Dawkins? But he's so at the family values. Oh, uh, well, that's just politics. Where is Darko? Dead, I hope! Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I heard he was still in Europe or Switzerland or somewhere. But then I heard that you had joined the circus, so information can be unreliable. We have to find him. We have to find him. I think he's a bit freaked out. I guess he thought seeing you would answer some questions. So I see. Well, it's great to see you guys. We must do brunch. Sure. See you later, Florian. Bernie! So, Florian has changed? Yes. He's moved on from what happened to you. You should have moved on too. What are you going to do? He may not be here in Liberty City, but he's still out there. I will find out where Darko Brevich is, and I will make him answer for his actions. We know now that it was him. I need to be alone now, Roman. Sure. I'll see you later then. Call me, okay? Where can I take you? 
Take me to Denver Avenue. Good as gold. I can't get any closer than this, so I have to drop you off right here. You're really pathetic. I'm having fun, are you? I'll be back with a gun! Ah! You listen to me, Isaac. Listen, dick. It's not my fault you got robbed. Not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. You understand? I'm on a cell phone, you jerk. Oh, you want me killed? Oh, yeah? Screw you! I'm done with you. You understand? I'm finished. Now, no, you know what? I ain't even started yet, you demon fuck! I'm in shit because of you, you piece of sh Hello? Hello? Uh, ah! Go ahead! Open your mouth, asshole! Push your fucking luck! Ray! What the fuck do you want? You told me to come. Well, sorry! Having a bad fucking day! Oh, I'm sorry. Me too. Fuck it. Fuck it. That curly head leech is gonna talk! Go shut that stooge up! Shut who up? Isaac! The diamond dealer! He's blaming me for everything! Everything! Even the shit we didn't do! Now I got no money, no diamonds, and his dick's threatening to have me killed! Blaming me, cause he got robbed! Okay, so? He's holed up in the Majestic with a couple of his cronies. Go shut those fuckers up! No problem. Hey! Can I get a coffee, please? This area is off limits, buddy. We got a live one here! To make this exciting, Get his I'll cut off your fucking head! We got you surrounded, asshole! Let's go! Just me and you! Oh, hey, come on! Huh? Did that hurt? Hey, man, come on! I got kids! You gotta let me live! Keep the boring and stay put! 
I'm going for him! Cover! Asshole! Run! I shut Isaac up for you. I feel like all I've been doing is shutting people up ever since this diamond thing started. Well, we ain't got the diamonds, and we don't know where they are. Johnny, that biker scumbag has disappeared with the money. And every other mouth that came close to those diamonds is closed for good. Except for yours, that is. You gotta be grateful for that. Screw you, Ray. I ain't your cleanup guy no more. You get that? All right, Nikki. all right. Don't go forgetting about respect or nothing. You're still just another straight-off-the-boat punk. This city can get real scary if you don't got friends. You remember that. What's up, Mallory? Roman hasn't spoken to you about anything, has he? Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah, thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Let's get going. You asked for it. Here we are. That's great. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? 
<laughs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggas. Any asshole with a buck? A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible. And remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. <laughs> exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. So, Jerry. I got this bomb. All right, listen. The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now, you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy. I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system. And besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. Did you kick some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it.
I hit the ends of love this crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother would put his faith in above. Don't be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan's complete. Come see me. Let's talk about step two. Florian, open the door. Nemo Peder. Govorin Gleski. And I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie, open the door. What's going on? Come in. Come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself, to get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me? Yes! Well, no. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Bryce found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing Ultimate Disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because... Uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed, and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool. But listen, you and I don't know each other. <gasps> How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. I do my exercises in Middle Park, Nico. Come on, come on, come on! Nico, you're still in great shape. You work out? Not really. I keep active, you know? Is there a name for that fitness plan? I'd take a class if I could be guaranteed buns like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. Ah. Get our heart rates up, Nico. Remember to hang back. I need to charm him out. Let's go! Nico! 
Marco, I need you to watch my behind. Keep up, honey! I'm about done with you, homo! Oh! Ah! Oh! Why don't you pick on someone who'll fight back? What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. For jail, we need to get out of here. He's not going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. I need this. Don't hurt me, please. Where you want to go, Hefe? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. Nobody knows this city better than me. This is it, my compadre. We're here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking God moves in mysterious ways. Oh. <laughs> That's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, <sighs> huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. 
I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, i gonna chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. Scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure! Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. Work. I'll let Jimmy P know about this. Cut in on anything he throws my way. I don't know how long I'm gonna be outside. Looks like the cops might knock down my door any moment. Take me to the pen. Good luck with that, Jerry. Please, look after my family if I go inside. Okay, where to? So we need to go to Ivy Drive South. Hey, okay, yet problem. Okay, dokie, friend, here we are. Come on, Bryce. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. But, but, but I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal! <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey! This is for real! Jesus H, Nico. I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cooked. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No, but he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off! Come on! Ah... Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. Right, hun, the meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. You know, I don't think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting! They don't even... 
even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them. Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way. Where's Bryce? We wanted to speak to him, not his rent boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Viso News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. Fucking Dimitri. They can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri is too much of a rat to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating you. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality as evil. Insanity. He's a hypocrite, and it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. Finally official. Since the moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I don't buy you don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! Nico Bellic. What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bryce Dawkins and Bernie Crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contracts. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. 
Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. Bernie, what's wrong? Nothing, sweetie. Oh my god, you're the lucky one. What? You could slice cheese on those puppies. I must be the only slob without cheekbones. I'm thinking of getting implants. But you sounded hysterical. Oh, sometimes I can't bear to be alone. I'm so glad you've come back into my life, even if you did try to kill me. I'm so excited! What are we doing here? We're going to have fun! Fun? Yes! It's a four-letter word, I know, but we can still try. Look, more people want me dead than alive. I'm working for the Mafia. The police and the government agency are both on my case. I kill and steal to scrape together a living so that my cousin can fritter it away online and pay off debts. And all the while, People are trying to kill us! What is fun? Honey... You... are stressed. Oh. Goodbye, Florian. No, 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 you don't, Nico. I need you. I need you to come on this boat trip with me. I need to talk to someone who truly knows me. When I knew you, you were training to be a shepherd. And you wanted to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> Actually, maybe it does all make sense. You understand me. Both of me. Come on, Bryce accidentally left the keys on purpose somewhere I could steal them. You drive, I'll work on my tan. My midriff is really pale. All right. Let's have fun. Ah! Ah. Go toward the headland. That's where the best rays are going to be. Nico, my life is in turmoil. Bryce is pulling his hair out over this blackmail thing. His wife is getting on his back about yours truly. I think she suspects. It's a nightmare. I don't know how else I can help you. Look how long it took me to find you. I know, sweetie. Let's forget about him and have some F-U-N. So cute. Rougeny Rusi! Let me see. They don't look like they're on the pleasure cruise. After them. Bryce's wife is going to freak out about his boat. This was meant to be our fun day, Nico. Why does everything that's meant to be fun have to be so miserable? I don't know. We just got to get these guys or they'll just come back. I told you that there was no time for this. People are after me, and I have to stay alert. You, Bert, are in this too. You have to keep your eyes open. They're wide open, sweetie. I'm focused. 100%. Let's get them. Yeah! Ho! 
They're taking to the high ground, sweetie. Hero returns from battle. They're not a problem anymore. Miko, you are my knight in shining armor. Thank you. I'm sorry our fun day wasn't so very much fun. See you soon. See you. I'm not gonna go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <sighs> hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake. I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey, hey, sit down. That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. Because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring, which is even better. <coughs> So, what do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean, I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up. But... I tried. I made a mistake! But I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is STILL threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him. And his pals up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his pals up. guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderney. Go check it out. Let's make sure his boys are there. I went them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police call. He'll see you 
and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! Would rather everyone go down than him take a ball alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when he's done. Take me back to your friends, Bucky. Nico, my boy. Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and these boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same, though, isn't it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, shit. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living.
What's up, Bernie? I wanted to give you something to say thank you for me and Bryce. Well, he doesn't know I'm giving you this, but he gave it to me, so it's technically from him. What is it? This car. Enjoy! I only power walk or take cabs, so I figured I should pass this on to my savior. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Don't mention it. What we've got is worth more than money. You're a man in this yacht for us, Nico. Is at this location. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him. And Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. But what I hear, Aiden still rants about me. You Parks boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeku? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Another immigrant, arriving in this city, trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hands of the... What the fuck is this? I think I gotta go! Use our boss to shield him from these fuckers! I don't give a shit if this thing sinks! We gotta protect him! I'd rather swim home tonight than come back tomorrow to die for those notes! for a fix. I wouldn't know. Could be a coincidence anyway. Or fate. You sound like my mother.
Got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Miss McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. Nikki, what the fuck is this? Rome is getting hit? <laughs> the big man's hanging up his hunting rifle? More out there for you, right? More for me and you, buddy. I have to admit, that was not my first thought when I heard. I'm happy for him. Sure you are. I'm happy too. Fucking happy. Bruce is ecstatic, homie. Just, you, you know, kind of gonna, gonna, gonna miss him is all. He's not going anywhere. Him and Mallory are only getting married. We all have to settle down sometime. What, you think I'm getting old? I got the abs of a 17-year-old gymnast and the forehead of a toddler, baby. Brucey don't need to settle down just yet. Sure, sure. Enjoy all that extra pussy then, Brucey. I'll see you around. All right, boy? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. Uh, maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy. Just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. We're the same. The same. The, the same. We're the same, you and me. Nico. I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block him that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. Right, I've got the truck. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great, they're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon.
I'm in position, Pecky. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Nico, I'll handle the prisoner. Shake these cops, Nico! We need them to think Aiden is free as a fucking bird! Alright, alright, I'll try to lose these fucking cops. Okay, man. First thing we got to do is dump this prison van. Cops will be looking. Okay, there's a car. Get in that vehicle, prisoner. All right, Nico. Now that we lost him, we gotta go out to the cliffs in Leftwood. The cliffs of Leftwood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it! You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you.
Out you come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. Here we are. Oh, thank you. I'll be in touch, Nikki. When is that damn delivery service going to get here?
this asshole! Bill, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house over we'll Fever Head Andy. You know the word. They'll be waiting here. Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we can ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hartack. He'll call you. tell me Derek was back what why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother I assumed if you cared you'd have found out well I have found out Jesus you know Derek's not well no no he's sick he always was he's always off getting involved in someone else's fight 
making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not uh, this, not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh-uh. We, my friend, we. You stop it. <coughs> stop? stop. Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you.
bolt of lightning from out of the fucking blue. I really got the feeling it was him and me back there. You don't know the half. The last bit of juice I got on the thing. <coughs> yeah? I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak uh, with Pedro. What, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss, salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere, like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses will be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? Vanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip. They ain't gonna turn up their nose at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on the commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, 
What are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The banners work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, huh, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over the meat. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. Pavanos, if the rest of the commission knew they did this, 
I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers try to whack me at a sit-down! They're trying to make off with my tribute! The fucking nerve! We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico! All right, let's get these slime ball bastards! People like that give Italians a bad day! Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know! I didn't even send a fucking capo! This is a declaration of war! The Pagarinos and the Favanos are hitting the mattresses! You heard it here first! I saw it through the scope on that rifle! We're gonna get that gift back and make this crew pay for their disrespect! Come on! Here you go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alden, eh? Even if it don't in Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. Only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pecorinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci.
there's one less cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Becky? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. Hey, you can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Mom. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of here! See them animals. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Ah! Damn it, with some back doors light, Nico. The fucking casket better not fall out. Go easy. off a long time ago. I think we finally lost him. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. 
It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking... All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Jerry, I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. You come down. Hey! Uh, who you waving at? Feds, I think. They always drive past at this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses. All of them. All of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Oh, uh, uh, sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen. We got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that, that you're meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you.
think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet. You should have found a better way to live. I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Gave him that more than a Pegarino turf. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste then. And something up the left. That's how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. Bellic, I want to introduce you to John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. The Pegorinos? They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a mutual friend. He's expecting you. Okay, but I'll be watching you. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, show show. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. <laughs> no, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. Tabish. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. 
I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're whacked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization pulled down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the enchiladas have a falling out, and we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an acting class. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. All right, this is the truck. this truck. There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work, and that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders, and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. We're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife, there ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there is some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something can make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm giving. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know.
This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies. Watch my back! On me! Eat fucking this!
You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. Each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. You as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, slob hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the left one hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me? So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flat lines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Stay away from the burns ward. It is not a pretty sight.
Hey, watch out for those cops. They're down the hall acting like they own the place. Patient's back there, Doc. Look after him. I need a little doctor-patient confidentiality. You can have one minute. Boss? Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, shit, Nico. You here to see the boss? It's just this way. Uh, wait, isn't the boss in jail? Uh, what are you here for? Ah, uh, shit. I didn't have a choice. They were gonna put me away for some hard time. I never thought it'd be me that turned rat. Go to sleep, Anthony. You look tired. Tell Peg. Uh, I'm sorry. The witness is down! Stop that doctor! Are you gonna cut me? LCPD! Don't move! Don't fuck with me! Drop the gun! Ah. Only one else want to die! Officer shot! Help! Ah. Right there! Right there! We have assault on an officer. Uh, west, left, left. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. Fucking feds. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, Nico. Probably an I'm here to see Mr. Gravelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what you Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, you know... And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally <laughs> come to an end? <laughs> I, I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. 
These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. <sighs> okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping the story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <coughs> Thank you. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm gonna bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is gonna be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson! Let's get out of here! If I get out of this, punks like a beat to the last one, but they never got out of the punk here.
You've got to get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for the advice. American- More Russians wanting to kill you. How about that? In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Mr. Grovelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. Hey, hey, good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians. Try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Grovelli? See you later. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of things, racketeer and armed robbery, a bunch of shit I never did because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course, like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. So play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's got to be with my mom.
This is doing my head in. I'm uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist the bargain. who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Most girls aren't as good with a stick shift as I am. Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. Alright, but what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than the car. I am. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! I'm dialing my daddy. He's gonna do more than test drive your ass, prick! Try to call him without the phone. You slime bag! Stop being such a fucking bitch! Chill out before I pull this trigger and make you real fucking chill. You are in so much trouble, Limpthick. My daddy loves his little girl. Later, dick face! You're fucking annoying! I'm going back to my daddy! Only when he pays the fucking ransom. I'll scratch your fucking eyes out! Scratch my fucking balls! Pull the fuck over! Not fucking likely! with the wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I... Shut up, piece of glass. Warm Rasta. Yo, you want to go down at the strip club, Mr. Mensch, yeah? No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and, uh... <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. 
I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, Nico, good to see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah. He's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good. Good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh. Okay. So... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all fugazi. Faker than a pair of vinewood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy and no good for patriots like you and me. Huh. So who is he? His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. What was I saying? Kim Young Gook. He eats at. Yeah, right. Right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fook's Rice Box. <coughs> yeah, in Alderney City. <coughs> Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost! Get the fuck! You must come out now! Nowhere to run! Be afraid, friend! Don't kill me! I'm nothing! Try this on fire! There's no way out, motherfucker! Got in my sight! I'm 
If you play stupid, you're not going to live very long. Where's Kim? Uh, he heard you come. He ran out back through the kitchen. How's my favorite girl? We need a picture of Grace. Her pa thinks she's holed up with some guy. He don't believe we got her. Will you do it? Ma's still upset. So I'm a portrait photographer now, am I? Okay, I'll send you it on my phone. Ah, Packy, sorry. I don't want to see a show. Another time. Sure, Nico. You must have people to kill and shit. Call me when you're free. Uh -huh. Where you been? I've been jonesing for some fries for about five hours. Sorry, your shift ain't over, Gordo. I'm just here for some holiday pics. Uh -huh. Come on, Gracie. I want you looking pretty for the photo. Smile for your daddy, Grace. Fuck you! Have fun out there! <laughs> Unless that guy is into some sick shit. Later on, Packy. See a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. The old factory off of Argus Street.
The fucking Russians have got to Charlie Matei. They told this top enchilada couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they knew? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the enchilada's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. Now, the way I sees it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. Clip me! Good luck, asshole! Take me out! My chopper pilot's gonna take the mission straight to the commission! Jimmy P! Fucking
You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, yeah. Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. In 1972, I should have killed his uncle, but I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable! And now he's stealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible! <laughs> so what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, <laughs> national. Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power, but this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk.
I have put your competitors out of business. You've given a dying man a few minutes of happiness, Nico. I'm pleased to be helping you out with this thing you need. We'll speak again when Darko Brevich is in the country. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. 
So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but maybe I need help one time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy to the fetch. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to rule my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look. I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, or suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces, if none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. There you are. Frankie, you been keeping your eyes open out here? Have you seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me! The fucking cops! Screw you, scumbags! watching these cars. I thought Phil was just paranoid. Give me a break, man. I got a lot on my mind, you know? I didn't have much time to scope this out. My ma's kinda sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These feds are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You wanna see a picture? I don't wanna see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. We can't let those feds run the boss off the road. Get them!
speed up, Nico. We're screwed otherwise. Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon shit! I don't feel comfortable with all these cops on us. Damn, this is a wild ride. I didn't think I was gonna come out of that. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil. I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a ma, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pen for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys, shit, I'm sorry. I don't think I can take much more of this. Nico, you done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in the safe place. You're damn right. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Hey, 
Hey. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, a girl you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept the clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her a new pad. Then, things will be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me? You're moving up over to Bowling Street. Not in the cab of this car, I'm not. After last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah, bitch just bit me. I think she has something to say. Motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill everybody you've Catch ever Catch you around, Thanks Nico. a lot. Guys, we're keeping this bitch. Think you close the borders to death like you. Nico, my man. Katie's taking over on my duty, so I'll be watching this Guido bitch for you. Where is she? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Gracie, Gracie, act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off! Help! Help me! Let me out of here! She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. Let me out! See you later, Nico. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Hey. Yeah? What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is, everything's coming together. Bad news? Ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Pack, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, it turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. It's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. 
Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We'll wait for you, man. Damn, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Well, queef a dog balloon. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you! Gracie! Watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I got you some fucking uses! That's right. He is definitely a bad influence on me. I'm a fucker! Gracie, you all right? Daddy? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelic. How is it? That whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Kanchai! you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the eye. Die, you shit! You go, my man, you gotta follow me.
You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way! If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here, and you take them! I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later! I don't nobody having them! Screw all of you! Llevano isto! You selfish piece of cock-sucking shit! Spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Bacino, but we would've got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would've made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got the suspicion those were the ones Ray Bacino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer and it turns into a bloodbath. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten them. Stole them from you, did they? No, they stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit, these diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for them. It's good they are on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man, Gracie's friend. Oh, I don't know, maybe to Bulgarin. Bulgarin? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgarin in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk, the cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin had lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. 
What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Hope Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Boab to get away from him and another man called Dimitri Raskolov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Hope Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Becky. Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Peggy. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I want to go to Joliet Street. Jill Van Krasenberg and them booty cutters? I'd do something special hey Ray, with that. I got some bad news for you. You weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Bulgarin claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit. You got them? Where are they? Liberty City dump? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic. Don't fuck about, let's go. I hear you. You love to disappoint me, Nico Pelik. You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitry Raskolov? Do not worry, the time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It's only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Hey, Problem with these guys, oh, I can't even think out, straight. So yeah, he's think there he is. is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally! I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. I'll see you later. Boss? Gentlemen? You're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard. I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize. But he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. 
and shut him up! Nico, I've been thinking about it, and I want you to pay our friend Ray a bit. Give him a message. Hey, you gotta sit down on Todd Rowe and eat up. If that's your decision, Mr. Pegorino, it's done. I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Boabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He bought some protection and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you know what to happen. Then again, I'll get his chump muscle to stop for gas out of the way. It might create a good opportunity for you. Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect it from Firefly Island. All right. Wait there for me. They are bringing him to the cargo bay at Francis International. I do not want to be late after I've waited so long. Well, this is the big moment that you've been waiting for for so long. I hope you will not be disappointed. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. We lost a lot of friends that day, Nico. We both did. In some way, our friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day, too. Everything that was good and innocent of me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. 
am I good at? What is my trade? I deal in that. Because that is all that is over. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is dead. That might give me some perspective. This killing will stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done, then you must begin to forgive. Think about your future instead of the horrible things that have happened to you. To us! To all of us! In the past! After this is done, then we can talk about forgiveness and redemption. Now is not the time for such conversation. This is it. This is where it all ends. Remember me? Pusseme, Nepoznayet. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. Nico. Hello. Rezi mi zašto? Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli za jedno. Mitar. Dragan, Goran, Mio, mogu da nastavim, svio, a? We were friends, but I am never friends. Friends that Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors. Because of what? Because of shit. Lies. Fucking lies! So that makes it okay? To stab your friends in the back? Everything you believe is shown to be shit. You make strange choices. Fuck you! <laughs> strange choices? How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you kill my friends for one thousand dollars. How much do you charge to kill somebody? You ruined me, you fuck! I need the money. I had problems. You're a fucking junkie! Kill me, Dan! You fucking hypocrite. Trust me. You'll be doing me a favor! Ah! Nico. Come on. Let's go. Let him suffer. He knows what he did. He doesn't look like he enjoys life too much. Hey, come on. of shit! That was for everyone! That was for me! Okay, Nico, it's over. It's all over now. Leave him there. We should go, before anyone turns up. Will you take me over to Bruce's house? I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. There you go. You got your revenge. How does it feel? I don't know how it feels. I'm trying to take it all in. This is the moment you've been waiting for. For so long, Nick. What do you mean you don't know how you feel? I mean I don't know. I feel empty, okay? I 
feel empty. It's something. At least. No room. It's nothing. The emptiness is what I was trying to get rid of by finding Darko. I've been empty ever since that day. I thought that revenge, killing Darko, might fill me out of it. Might give me some substance. And it hasn't? No. It hasn't. Does that make you happy? Of course it doesn't make me happy, but... Maybe this is good for you. Maybe now that you know that revenge is not what you are after, you can look for fulfillment in other places. Healthy ones. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. Florian, I thought you should know. Darko is dead. He's finally paid for his crimes. That's good to know, Nick. You should let go of it now. You have a new life in America. Forget the past. Sometimes I think my past is all I got. So long. You look after yourself. Nico, the shit has gone down. I need to see you. Come to the club and toot up. All right, Mr. Pegorino. I'll see you there. Vodka on the rocks. Nico! Uh, good to see you. And you? How are you? Uh-uh. Fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. <sighs> you get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No! Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you! I looked out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No, we've got history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance! Then good luck. No. I need you to get that age. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people wanted to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No! You listen, you dumb immigrant fuck! I ain't asking you! I'm telling you, do this! Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are gonna have a problem. Look. Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? Roman, I have a problem. You've got a problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. 
He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on a boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dimitri is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. Hey, Kate. I have a decision to make. And I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It'll make things easier. For me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. Запакуйте весь хэроин! Мы сегодня ночью посылаем!
on me!
I give. You win. Hey, Dimitri, I don't think I'll be doing this deal with you. We have other business to finish. Nico, it's been a long time. I thought your time in America might have calmed you down. America does not change everyone. Look at you. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. That is what you will be when you die here. Zatkanie do Abaltisko Ahuya! I would never have trusted you again, you snake! Dimitri! Where are you, you rat? to learn a lesson. Actions have consequences. You screwed me over. Now you're paying for it. Shame that will be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Blood you upon me. I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri. I killed Dimitri. It's over. He was on the platypus, the boat I arrived in Liberty City on. So it seems it ends where it began. I guess you did what you felt you had to do. No deal, no money, no hot tubs and models. But Dimitri will not bother you again. I will see you at the wedding, yes? Remember to wear a suit. I'll be there, Roman. Don't worry. Hey, it's Phil. I understand why you made this decision you did. But what it's worth? I didn't trust that Dimitri neither. Yeah, well, I did what I had to do. Anyway, you and me can't talk no more. Jimmy's falling apart. The Pegarino ain't nothing no more. I'm out, man. Goodbye. Hey, Kate. I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principles. Well, it was the right thing to do. Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my ma's. See you soon.
you're coming to get me. You're looking really nice. Shall we go to the church? So. So what? So, this is weird. Why is this weird? Because I'm going to the wedding of a couple I've never met with a man I barely know. Okay, maybe it is weird. But maybe it isn't. I feel like I want to get to know you properly. I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city recently. I feel like it's time to move on. Start living my life right. But you're a tough guy with a death wish. A thieving, murdering, drug dealing idiot. Do you think you can just walk away from all that? I can try. Good luck, Nico. I really hope you can walk away. But do you think the men you've dealt with will just let you leave and walk into the sunset? They will have to. I thought that when you do the work that you do, that people get their hooks into you, and then there's no way out. I was good once. I was a normal kid who got sucked into a war he didn't believe in, and forced to watch his friends die, forced to do things he did not want to do in order to survive. If I can get pulled into this world, I can pull myself out. I've tried to make the right choices, to surround myself with good people, rather than bad ones. Good people like you. That has to count for something. Tell me, have these good people been hurt by what you've had to do? Has your cousin been caught up in your mad life? Uh, maybe you're right. Roman has been hurt. He has lost a lot because of me. Someone without his good naturedness and optimism would have been broken by what has happened to him. I am lucky that he is still happy to be part of my family. The one family I have in this city. He might be your only family, but he's not the only one who cares about you, Nico. Really? Don't be stupid. I'm not coming to this wedding for the free nibbles. I'm coming because of you. Because no matter how stupid I think this is, I'm willing to take a chance on you. Willing to take a chance on the possibility that you can walk away from the craziness. That there is a real human being under all that hardness. The rational half of me says, get away from him, protect yourself. But the other half says, he's good, he can be redeemed. Well, which half are you going to listen to? I'm Irish, Nico. We're a people known for strong whiskey, mystics, and Catholicism. Rational blood doesn't flow through these veins. You won't regret this, Kate. I'll look after you. I'll protect you. Oh, time to preen like a peacock. Look at you in those fancy clothes, Nico. Trying to upstage the groom on his wedding day? <laughs> Let's get me married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yes! Yes, I did it! Hey! <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, congratulations, cousin! Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right, yes, okay. Uh, oh, wow. There we go. Okay, yes, we are married. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You oh, fucking double cross an immigrant shit! Nico! Nico, come on! Oh. Somebody call an ambulance! Call a fucking ambulance! She's dead! What? Oh shit! 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 She told me to leave it! I thought I had! I thought it was over! It's never over, Aya! Nico, you can't blame yourself! Of course I can! She's dead! Easy, easy, easy! Are you brave, oh. man? Easy! Calm oh. down, man! Calm down! Nico, you have to get out of here. Yes, go on, man. Go. go on, man. We have to leave, man. Just leave. Get out of here. Don't go. Worry. We take care of this, man. Okay, leave. okay. Damn! I was meant to protect her. Nico. I and Roman have found one of that rascal like Pegorino's man. See? The 
champion and some building in a current square. We keep an eye out on it. Wait for me. I'm on my way. What is Roman doing there? This is not the place for him. He back you up, Rasta. I and I both be dead. One look. Get in the car. All right, my brother. That blood clot been at the place. And I've been following him for a time, see? Me think him next up a Pegorino. We're gonna follow him there, see? Thank you, both of you. But I do not think this is the place for you, Roman. This is too dangerous. You are my cousin, Nico. And Kate died at my wedding. I'm helping you. Rot it, see him there? You have to stick to him, my brother. Fuck, we got a tail. Better lose this piece of shit on the way back to the peg. I don't want to be late. How do you know he's going back to Begarino? He's been running around town like an endless chicken in a rasta, picking up shit in desperate. There's nowhere left for these guys to go. The whole city wants them dead now. Well, I guess I'll be doing the whole city a favor when I kill Pegorino then. The fool thought he could be a big player. This man will lead us there. We'll get him, cousin, I assure you. See him, Bridget. I not be after him. He know where boy I gonna live another day upon this earth. See? It's a dead man. Dead man. Fuck with the wrong rasta and thing. This he will realize soon enough. Where the fuck is this guy going? Easy, my brother. He's taking us to Peg Arena. We need to chill. I'm not fucking chill. We're speeding down the highway at who knows how fast. Cars are coming toward us. People are shooting at us. How can you be chill? You've been smoking too much, Jacob. Whatever chill is, this is not it. You said you wanted the help, Roman. You said you wanted to give Peg Arena payback just as much as I did. I did. I, I do want to, but... You know, I, I don't want to die. I have a wife to think about now. I've got nobody now. That's not true, blood. We got Iron Roman, see? Roman just scared that thing. You don't mean what I'm saying. We're going to mash up this rascal and mash him up good, see? Roman, that's what you're feeling, don't you? Sure, sure, that, that's what I'm feeling. Nico, I want to get this guy. I just don't think we want to take any unnecessary risks while we're doing that. Roman, the last thing I want is to lose you as well as Kate. I can't imagine how I'd feel if I lost you today. But Roman, I will not let this piece of shit go. He is taking us back to Jimmy Pegorino. He cannot go much further. We must reach Pegorino soon. At least we're seeing some of older me. I don't normally come this side of the West River. Seeing Roman. No companies grow neither and thing. It's a different city from the rest of Liberty. True? I am not taking you on some tourist sightseeing tour. We're chasing a scumbag back to his boss. Then we're going to make that shit and pay for what he did to Kate. Understand? Sure, cousin, sure. Eyes to the front, mind on the job at hand and all that shit. We're going to stop swinging on Nico. Me and my sauce that big arena. They might be hiding in the north. I'm out of the somewhere. Okay, we're making some progress then. We will keep on this guy, and hopefully he won't fucking kill us. We'll crash before he leads us to Pegorino. I'm about ready to see that particular moron. Yeah, uh, me too. Get this rascal to in a vehicle. 
Jacob. The best way to help me is to keep my cousin alive. I don't want to lose him as well. Also, figure out an exit strategy. When this guy is dead, I'm not going to want to hang around long. Stay down or I will finish you off. You motherfucker! Don't think for a second that this was anyone's fault but your own! You could have worked with me and everything would have been gravy! I wanted out, and you killed someone I cared about. It's over for you now, Jimmy. Your problem is you like killing too much! Shoot that fuck before he kills us all! We're killing Jimmy! Take that boy down! Don't try to make this exciting now. Ready to die, bitch? Hide your ass, boys! Stop the fuck with the fuckers for killing JP! Jimmy! Your time is up! Say good night! Come man, Pegorino! I'm sick of killing these lackeys! Where is Pegorino? I still got something back! Couldn't you have killed me, you dumb shit? Pegarino! No, 
I'm going to get you, Jimmy! Not without me, you're not! You're not getting away, Gregorino! No thanks to you! You try to ditch me? Me know you find a way, my virgin. If you control this thing, you better drive it than me. Okay, let's get this guy! I smell his blood! Now it is only a matter of chasing him down! See me, Nico. You want to get him now? Then you know where he can go. Thank you both for helping me with this! Yeah, mommy! I have the orders here! Uh, me! Uh, uh. You're not looking so uh, good there, Jimmy. Uh, screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You want to know something funny? Not really. The commission? The old families? I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke! Yeah. You did it. Really? I don't know. What did I do? But we're done. Now we can start making money. Freely. I suppose so. We won, man. We won! So this is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for.